Uh, where's my whole fucking layout? Huh? Ah, uh, we fucked something up, gang. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> I deleted everything. Fuck. <laughs> um, enjoy this. I don't know. Okay, let's get started. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you even hear this? Uh, let me see my, my input devices. Um, I should be able to. Yeah, you can't hear this. Huh? I'm, I'm sitting here listening to my music. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Because uh, I'm using Bluetooth headphones. I bought myself the Audio Technica... What are they called? Something, something, something Bluetooth. Uh, yeah, let me get the cable. Okay, I'm being a baby here. Look at the things I do for you guys. Ah, uh, just a second. Okay. Is it back? Probably not back, is it? Right click. Get phone. Hello? No, this fucking... This is fucking stupid. Oh yeah, there we go. Headphone? Headphone. Headphone. There we go. Let's, let's check it out. Guess if it's gonna work. Yes! It's meaningful to me. So this stream, uh, what's with this stream? You might be wondering. It's like out of nowhere, midnight stream. That's literally what it is. I poured myself a beer and I've been sitting here on my workstation. And I was thinking, I could really drink this beer and watch some DSP stupid videos right now. And um, yeah, why would I do it without streaming? That's, that's all I do when I... When I stream is just watch stupid DSP videos. Why not? Why not streaming? So we're streaming. There you go. That's your explanation. What's your favorite type of food? And can you read my haiku? Yeah. Uh, I'm probably gonna watch some of the recent uh, DSP shit. I don't know actually which one. Um, he said he couldn't ride a bike uh, and stuff like that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna drink some beer and watch some Phil stupid shit. And at some point I'm gonna get drunk and go to bed. Maybe. Maybe. 
All right, enough music. It's been five minutes. Honestly, it's been uh, probably two minutes with with music and uh, three minutes without music. Well, let's see what we got. Let's see. Um, let's see what we're we gonna watch today. What are we gonna experience today? Can you hear the background music? You probably can't. You actually might not be able to. Everything is great. Everything is awesome. Awesome. You can't hear it? Well, nothing I could do. How about that? Probably something I could do is just OBS kind of acting up on me. Okay. You know what? Uh, fuck this. <clears throat> Let's see what the guy is doing. Let's check up uh, what's happening over on uh, DSP Space Gaming channel. Um... Let's continue the galactic story. I couldn't confirm that. So yesterday he was, um, he was, he had a tier maker stream and he made like 10 bucks and he kind of cried about it. Kind of. Uh, and it was, it was kind of funny. So today he's on 63. Oh my God. The members have dropped dramatically. And yeah, it doesn't look that good, man. Noise. His smile and optimism gone. His positivity gone. Sense echo. Yeah, it was Tears Maker. He was tearing up. An awesome day of Elden Ring and Tear Maker fun. He's saying this because he knows people are gonna tell him uh he's they're gonna shit on the tips he raised. So he he gotta be first and like preemptively say, but today it was amazing, dude. The trolls are gonna say that. I, I, I didn't make any money and like I complained about it. I didn't. It was awesome. It was the best. It was actually more than the best. Take that, trolls. You'll love my video. So what was he fighting? The foreskin apostle? And then into the imperial city. This dude's Elden Ring playthrough fucking sucks, man. It makes me actually sad. And I'm not even that that big of a fan of the game i play it on a casual capacity meaning that i'm trash and i i can't beat the bosses so i just walk around and explore uh anyways where's the tier maker stuff oh that's on the dsp reacts channel i forgot we have a a family tree of youtube channels oh yeah this this great thumbnail <laughs> dsp ranks it all the zelda games and uh spoiler Half of this list is in the unplayed, um, uh, in the unplayed group. Oh, and I can't even hear the TTS today. That's fantastic. I just love life. Life today is like the best I've ever had. Every day is the best day of my life. Can you guys hear the TTS? Uh, oh, now I will be able to hear it. Dude, look at this. Live fixing on the fly. I can hear it through the laptop speakers because I'm fucking stupid. Okay, hold on. Yes, I fixed it. I fixed it, you guys. He said the tips were abysmal. Yeah, the tips were abysmal. Uh, and he said it, but in the daily rap, he made it seem he great. the tips were abysmal. Exact word. Okay, there we go. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, let's go watch the daily rap first. And then we're going to see how positive and amazing this day was. So anyways, uh, maybe you've noticed this amazing thumbnail. It's him in space. And you just have a tear maker thing. And if you've noticed this amazing thumbnail, you might have even noticed him on, uh, on Twitter. They call me DSP. Where he is called DSP is ready to fight. And he does this face. Looking like this. It's borderline offensive. To certain groups of people like look at this dude the whole he got the whole alcohol fetal syndrome face he got the whole 90s rock star wig he got the whole dress he got the whole chest hair he got the patchy old man goatee god damn get this man a ticket to um i don't know i don't know um uh, some bad place eastern europe there we go Send them over here. <laughs> Get them over here. Uh, DSP is ready to fight. Anything else on Twitter? Nothing. That's it. His Twitter at this point is just a dumping ground for schedules and updates whenever he's live. 
and whenever he stops being live. Um, yeah, and he said uh, he's not going to play the closed beta or open beta or whatever, some kind of beta for Street Fighter because um, it's the same as the previous beta. Even though he was crying about people having an unfair advantage because they had access to it and he didn't, he doesn't want to catch up on them. So it's yet another excuse. So yeah, it's some dumb shit. Uh, so yeah, the, the, the tier maker, I'm not a Zelda fan, so I'm not going to be interested in this. I have nothing to say about this, except that um, he got like a million games in the unplayed tier. And at this point, just, just make a tier list of things that you actually know stuff about and not things that you don't know anything about half of the stuff. Because then it's like, why why bother? Why bother? Or at least cherry pick the things that you know about and then rank them. So the, the unplayed tier doesn't look like there's like a, a million things on it. But come on, who am I giving advice? This dude, he's been a professional for 15 years, man. He knows so much better than I do. Not files anime trap cosplay again. Yeah, uh, oh, this was supposed to be anime trap cosplay. I thought it was a 90s rock star, dude. <laughs> Remember after Halloween, he was so salty that people called him a crossdresser that he went and took the packaging for the wig from the trash just to show you. Look, look, it says it's a 90s fucking rock star. Look. That's awesome. Uh, what else do we got on this channel? I mean, it's basically everything that we watched on Saturday on DSP Reacts. Gilbert Gottfried trick shots in history of console sales. That's awesome stuff, man. So exciting. Ah, feasting with Phil, the tasteful truth. Indian cuisine feast. Oh, yeah, and he's having his uh, Phil's fighting feast. Or as he called it yesterday, the, the, the feet in a feist. <laughs> oh, man. Big case of gin brain. Yeah, big ups uh, Ursa Major for three months, dude. Uh, we got the state of DSP reacts three months in feedback needed now He summarized this video a couple of days ago, so I literally don't have to watch it, which I'm glad I watched that pre-stream This is the, this is a thing. I don't say very often. I'm glad I watched that pre-stream But I don't have to watch this 21 minute video because I watched the 21 minute segment where he explained what this video is gonna be about so there you go We get to skip this. I, I actually starting to like this channel. We get to skip everything uh, McGregor Madness Game Show Fails in Best Selling Musicians. That's a skip. Q&A. A Finger in Wendy's Chili in Big big YouTuber Income. And Big is in all caps, so that gets a skip. Uh, welcome to the Internet Historian React. This is a fantastic video. It's literally just the introduction to somebody reacting to a YouTube video. Half an hour long. Fantastic. You love it. You guys love it. Then we got a review of a movie from actually two years ago. Then we got clickbait, bullshit, more reactions in nonsense. And then we have a review of Peacemaker that doesn't even have a thousand views for two weeks. Pretty embarrassing. Uh, DSP Rank said best American fast food franchises. I bet this one doesn't have a lot in the never had tier. And it also has chapters. Which is most probably not him writing the chapters. Most probably, yep. They're automatic chapters. I usually like the YouTube automatic chapters because uh, they're really funny, especially on DSP videos. So it has chapters like the reveal, the drama, tax situation, um, bills, and stuff like that. So I'm very excited. So let's see the ending of this. Uh, oh, wow. And, and of course... Dude, his fucking passion is to eat fast food and pretend he knows stuff about it. The never had list is longer than anything else again. Bruh, is there like a list, a tier list of stuff he can make that is actually not gonna have a lot of stuff in the never had list? The dude knows nothing about anything. God damn it, not even fast food, man. It's so disappointing. Uh, I'm thinking at this point, his fans are just like, they have a fetish for being disappointed. It's some kind of new fetish that they developed. Only DSP can satisfy. Like, you can never get enough disappointment with him. 
Uh, DSP ranks it best horror movie villains. Oh yeah, remember? Remember this was um, something that happened, and it wasn't great. Uh, anyways, let's get out of this channel. I'm I'm feeling the the gout oozing through my skin already. This is disgusting. Um, yeah, he was spending on champions again. Surprise, surprise! The champ is here. Uh, I don't have the soundboard open. Imagine that I played it. The champ is here. You see, you have a very good imagination. Uh, now let's move over to some other thing that he has done. Um, clip, clip, clip. Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, a Snort Burnell. Oh, I missed the Snort Burnell. I'm going to play the whole intro because I enjoyed it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, I missed this intro. That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely <laughs> disgusting. Uh. Sound good? Sounds good to me. I don't even think about it. Ah! How dare you bite me? Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. So we're, we're starting off with an annoying Jasper segment. <laughs> How dare you bite me live on stream? How could you? He's trying to bite me again. Oh my god, what is happening with his hair? Like recently, maybe that's just me noticing recently, but God damn, like it not only is it so Like his hairline is so uneven, but it started to get even more thin Jasper. God damn it He's trying to chew my headphone wire, I just spray him Yeah, what's up, Jaha? Yeah, I, I heard about the, the bicycle story. I'm probably going to end up listening to that, which is kind of funny because today on the on the Taken L stream, which was the the European stream, where was it? It was here somewhere. Um, God damn it. Where is it? Uh, here it is. Somewhere, let's say, let's say around here. We were talking about DSP not being able to ride a bike and not being able to swim. And surprise, surprise, he talks about it today. That's a, that's a pretty nice coincidence. Wire, I have to. He, eats he legitimately wire. can't ride a bike. He never learned completely because he was living in a bad neighborhood and uh, a certain kind of people were stealing bikes and beating kids up. Electrocuted, so. So he, he's basically been living paranoid his whole life. And also there's this other segment of him talking about how he can't even swim, but it can't be that hard, right? You just float in the water and move your legs that's the kind of shit he talks about sorry jasper you gotta learn not to eat my wires man sorry he's jasper he's man he's not doing it because he wants to eat the wire he does because oh i know i get attention from dad if i do this well dad kind of attention. what is why we don't <laughs> get attention no. from dad that's what jasper says <laughs> <laughs> jasper stay away from the cables my son <laughs> all right, all right man all right. they're full-on larping with being like an actual family it's ridiculous oh. Uh, becomes Ursa Major for the game over sticker. It's over, dudes. Never been more over than it is now. All right. No, life's still here. Closing up shop. See, back then, I, I basically was traveling by myself. I wasn't. I was a, a loner traveling out to like Evo, and I wasn't like with a group of people. I was just doing it for myself, my own thing. So. You know, that's when I say, oh, I went to EVO 2005 literally with no friends, no one supporting <laughs> He me, was a I drifter, and now he's just a grifter. You have to understand that, what an uh, accomplishment that was. Bro, this yeah, filter creeps me the fuck out. It wasn't like- it's like, it usually like, the thing that stands out the least about him is his eyes, because they're so lifeless and black. And now it's the opposite. It's just inverse. So he, his eyes just like pierce right through you. No, it was literally me just performing at a top level in a fighting game. Him just performing, dude. Every person wanted to see me fail, and I didn't fail. That's Literally why that's like me. John Cena in 2007. Like, something like that. Everybody wanted to see him fall. The cards were stacked against him, and he overcame it. To me, right? But now, as a me. result, he suffered multiple traumatic back injuries, and he's not the same. Not the same. It's out because it was an inferior version. Fuck you. Doesn't matter if I was playing fucking thumb wrestling. If it was the same thing in any competition, I would Why still is he still talking about this, that, man? This is like the weekly down, you know. fourth at Evo conversation. No, I didn't. Why do meet we John still Rambo have to talk about it? Years later, I didn't meet John Rambo 
till 2006, and we actually didn't go to Evo together till 2007. That was the one we went together. Yep. Did I ever doubt myself back then? Of course I did. I haven't of smoked weed for like. You know, um, it was remarkable because here's probably six months at this point. Someone who had no notable tournament placings in Super Turbo, right? I wasn't winning Super Turbo tournaments. I'm high on life, dude. And, and I'm drinking beer. Know, to come out of literally nowhere and go to the I'm nationals drinking. and kick every major player's ass in a fucking row, back to back, spanking them left and right. It was spanking dudes. But when when he lost, it was bullshit. When he won, he was spanking dudes. He was sexually harassing men. Pretty That's crazy. what he did. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, this dude in, is I was great. In what was considered the black bracket of death. What? It was supposed to be a black bracket where they put all the good players and and I beat every good player that was in that bracket. Literally, literally every one. Uh, I am a former. Yeah, my job doesn't have drug tests. In the capacity, not that I did it. They don't have drug tests, as far as I know. I never been tested. Thing, I was a high level tournament player. Fourth place at Evo, top okay. uh, player of Street Fighter 2 that year overall in the country. This is like... Okay, uh, here's my take. This is the kind of thing you shouldn't be flexing about. It's like, imagine you were, uh, you're a rapper and you used to play on, you used to perform on Coachella and shit like that. But now you perform in front of 10 people in a fucking retirement home. And it's like, dude, would you probably shouldn't be flexing about how amazing you used to be back in the days, because now you washed up. So probably don't don't bring that up. Probably don't. Yeah. And he's gonna cheese the god devouring oh, serpent. Oh no, he's lost. All right. I wish I knew how to hit the head when it was staggered. I, it doesn't seem to have a, the spot that it locks onto is around the neck, which I don't think if I stag I don't know. There's, usually there's a glowing spot when they get hey, staggered. Hey, what's up, Hood Hustler? And there's no glowing this spot. It's more of a so small, no late night what intimate like stream. That. We're just hanging and banging. Yeah. I'm drinking. Okay, so we skipped the gameplay segments, which I guess is, is a lot. Oh, but we, we got a begging segment. Okay. We got the begging spot. There we go. Glasses. It also means we have a hat. So thank you. Thumbs up. Elden Ring progress today. Had a great time. Oh, and he's wearing the fedora. Ah, uh, damn. Really appreciate that. See you next time. Cool. All right. So, my friends, it's time for a break. So I hope you're all ready to chill and rank the Zelda games tonight. Now, any contributions tonight are greatly appreciated, all right? Okay. If you have a super chat or a membership or a gifted membership, it helps DSP react. This channel only gets one stream a week, so this is cool to have an extra stream this week where you can support this channel. And thank you in advance to anyone who supports in that way. Obviously, tips are also appreciated, and that would help tonight as well. And yes, the usual tip rewards are in effect at 50, 100, and 150 bucks. Like I do at my streams, you get gunner glasses, uh, a hat of your choice, and a vest of your choice if we happen to hit any of said goals would tonight. Would you I'm ever have guests on your show? Um, I have. I mean, I, I have had guests. I had Indrid on, I had ALT on, I had somebody else on, but I forgot. Uh, it's usually I have to bother uh, about the audio and making sure everything runs fine. And I would rather just not bother. So I just go on other people's stuff. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a freeloader. To see how the stream does, these videos do well, but I'm curious to see how tonight's Tier Maker stream actually does. Like right now we have about 150 people, I'm hoping we'll get more, but I don't know how many people will actually show up for this. Oh my god, he's drinking gin. I'm drinking gin out of a seltzer bottle. Gin I actually spray. expected it to be, uh, I'm drinking something else. <laughs> like, to be like, Hulk Hogan's sperm. And thank you to that anyone one is who great. has supported so far. We're at 69 likes with over 270 viewers. If we hit 100 likes tonight, that would be outstanding. And yes, I would do... Meerkat versus Phil is Keemstar's next boxing event. Uh, I'm not interested in boxing. I would do wrestling, though. We could do, like, an actual wrestling show. Like he wanted to do with Viscant. He wanted to, like, crotch chop the crowd. We can do that and have, like, a, a tables match or some shit like that. <laughs> that would be fun. We could do a... Dude, we could do, like, Survivor Series 8-man tag. So we got four detractors in four from DSP's team. Like, like SmackDown versus Raw. We do a Team Dance and Team Detractors. That would be great. And I would be, like, a, one of those high-flying wrestlers. Then we got Tevin, he would be like a striker. 
Then we got uh who else can we get? And how how can they be a wrestler? We get uh we get Raven. He's gonna be the big guy of the bunch. He's gonna do like power slams and stuff. And somebody else. I don't know. The the crowd is gonna decide. We're gonna decide this via community post poll. And then on the other side, we got Derek, obviously. He's gonna be the high flyer. Uh we got DSP, he's gonna be the the striker. We got um uh, 672 he's gonna be the big guy the giant he's gonna be throwing Derek at other dudes and we can have jade and jade is gonna be like no jade is gonna be the manager because obviously he can't perform as as well as everybody else but we can have uh the last one is gonna be determined by a dsp chat poll that's how we're gonna figure it out there we go bubble blow for you guys if we do that and then a bubble chat, blow i appreciate that uh no members or anything like that tonight instead of pyro when they come out it's gonna be a bubble blow tips uh, obviously, there we go we figured it all out the night is young any support is greatly appreciated if you could support dsp reacts tonight and the cheer maker efforts i would really appreciate that okay actually super chats are quite good oh yeah dude we're gonna get the villain the villain he's gonna have some like weird persona of uh, i don't know the incel and it's gonna be great it's gonna be great. Of course, if he doesn't get busted for like sexual harassment or some shit like that by that time, by the time it happens. Thank you for that. And uh, no new members and tips are around 10 bucks. So not too hot there. The super chats are pretty good. So if you're enjoying this, if you could support it in any way, I would really appreciate it. And I'll also say this for those watching on demand. If you like these cheer maker videos, the cheer maker. Oh, wait, definitely okay, yeah, this just a super thanks. These super will not thanks. Get it's one of the few pieces of content I put on this React channel that will not get. Oh, dude, this is so, so filthy. Could, Honestly, I fucking, uh, dude, the way that he just tries to monetize everything, every single thing, and when he can monetize it, he's so cheerful like this. It's like, oh, you guys can leave a super thanks. Now you, you fucking freeloaders, you can actually give me money. Yeah, you don't show up to my streams. You don't give gifted subs. You don't fucking tip or super chat. Give me money like that, you fucking idiots. Fucking worthless humans. <laughs> you know, go go a little bit. Uh... Oh, yeah, I think, I think the eight ball completely died because just nobody really cares about using it. And when you got a gimmick that nobody cares about, it just kind of dies out naturally uh so let's see the daily rap even though it's it's pretty predictable at this point what is he gonna say the tips were terrible abysmal even and look at that look at this well look at this thumbnail you would say that uh keemstar broke into his house or something with a thumbnail like this Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 8th of May, 2023. Uh, a great full day of streaming today after only having a half day of streaming yesterday. Uh, although there was some variety, it wasn't gameplay all day long. So let's get right into it. So first of all, on today's Level 1 podcast, once again, yeah, shut the fuck Stone up. Sorcery Run. We did a good variety of stuff today. <laughs> I, I like playing these just so I can skip them. It gives me like a weird power trip. I can tell him, shut the fuck up, Phil, and then skip so through again, it. Once again, including the optional uh, Kaled Tower, where you go to charge Radon. Yeah, I mean, this is just gameplay recap. Uh, okay. Exploring the uh, side areas. Uh, uh, extremely high difficulty question. If you're going to be doing gameplay recaps as a part of your daily wrap, which is literally wh where they belong, why are we also doing this on every single daily podcast? as a special segment as a part of the schedule it's literally a sub segment in, under the schedule segment why do this why why uh my goal is next time to unlock the underground dungeon if you remember if you go further into that dungeon which is a big labyrinthian tubes and sewers you yeah, know like your wife's ass so i don't instantly uh, die to everything yeah. has been helpful so good progress all right then tonight on the late stream we did something completely different it was tier maker fun over on DSP React, where I ranked all of the Zelda games. It took about two hours to get through. It was okay. a fun event. Um, it would have taken six hours if he played all of them. And he had something to say about them. Because there was like 25 games he didn't play. Good. Support with Super Chats was good. But uh -oh. everything else was pretty much non-existent. Non-existent. No tips and, and zero memberships. Um, so, according to the DSP train of thought, the DSP school of logic, people would hate that stream, right? People fucking hate the shit out of it. 
He if plans his begging better than his marriage to the point where he has payment plans for the brokies and the next one will be for his homeless viewers. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he should have this. He should have like, uh, like mobile games have, kind of like a battle pass. Not, not even mobile games. All games have it. We should actually make this a thing, a DSP battle pass. So what are you gonna get? Uh, yeah, if you can think about some idea like this, leave it in the comments of a DSP battle pass. Can you say my name. It is Bunny's dear I C K. Oh, it's pronounced. Um... Dear Aish, well, welcome, dear Aish. The, 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 the chap. Welcome. What I'm finding on DSP Reacts. So yeah, like, like I was saying, according to his logic, if you have a stream where you get like ten dollars uh, out of, uh, uh, let's say, an expected amount of a hundred, then people hate it, right? That's that's what DSP thinks. But now he's gonna say it was super positive. I know this sounds a little weird. Is that? The content that works on that channel for the on-demand viewers, for some reason, these stream viewers don't really support. For example, the long-form react we did of Internet Historian didn't even do as well as like a normal day of double streaming on DSP Gaming. But then the views on the, the event have been good over the last Yeah, week. bro, it's almost like you're not that important to people. There's so many. There's so many fucking YouTubers that I've watched and I've been really excited to watch and I've been looking forward to their videos. And one day I just stop thinking about them and they basically cease to exist for me. I don't watch them anymore. I, don't, I never think about them. And maybe like two years down the line and think about, hey, what happened to this dude? I like his videos. And then I go back and check out his channel again and like whatever happened. Like DSP, you're not that important to people. And if they don't think it was interesting enough or if they just casually watch your stuff, they have the right to do that. What you're putting out there is free for everybody. Just like what I'm doing. And you shouldn't feel entitled to people watching it, enjoying it, or supporting it. Same thing with the other long-form events I did. The Tear Maker videos are some of the highest viewed videos I've done on the channel. Okay. And I'm wondering, you know, how this one will do with this. I'm wondering, uh, actually, what his watch time is for those videos. Because they can have a, a, a big number of views from people clicking on them because they're interested in, hey, I wonder what this tier maker is about and they just skip to the end to see what the tier list looks like and they watch in total like a minute and a half worth of content that shit isn't actually helping you Phil. this isn't back in 2012 2014 where the video number matters it matters how many people you can make stay and how many people are going to be engaged in what you're putting out all the games um but the stream didn't do so well so it's kind of a weird like mix and I guess we'll see. Let's see how the tier maker does. It was fun to do. Um, the Asian people, fusion you know, style mix. Did participate in the, the discussion. And like I said, it took two hours to get through all these Zelda games. So I hope you'll give it a look. Let me know what you think. Be sure to leave comments like, um, and uh, uh, Keemstar posted on Twitter a couple of days ago about his documentary on Boogie and Wings. Where he was like, thanks everybody for checking it out. I was disappointed. It didn't get as many views as I expected. And he posted a screenshot of his analytics. And he had like an eight minute on average watch time on a 30 minute video. And it's like, bro, this is not good. I'm thinking it's not good. So I don't know. That Think about it. The channel. All right. Uh, keep in mind, our next tier maker event will actually be May 21st. This is my feet and feist. Feet and feist. Fe feet and my feist. Fight and feast marathon. <laughs> feet and feist. <laughs> Derek showed up already. Uh, did you did you say my name? Huh? Featuring the fighting chat. games all day long. Classic Street Fighter will have rankings of Street Fighter and other fighting game franchises <laughs> during that event. All right? Tomorrow, Tuesday, May 9th. Come Tuesday. Dude! Oh, no. We're past Come Tuesday. Now it's uh, it's Wednesday. But let's uh, let's play some Come Tuesday. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot. I was thinking about this all week last week. Dude, I want to stream on a Tuesday so I can say Come Tuesday again. <laughs> <laughs> Come Tuesday. The chat I love that idea. Is hit. Come Tuesday. <laughs> well, happy Come Tuesday. It's probably still Tuesday somewhere. Consecutive streaming day of this week. Uh, it's going to be a double gameplay day. So first we'll have a chill level one podcast. Then it will be the continuation of Star Wars Jedi Survivor, both on DSP Gaming. And the good news is we are done with the optional content. Okay. Craft okay. Now we're on the schedule segment. 
So basically, this, this, this daily wrap as a format, it's a good idea, right? But one has to go. You can't do this same thing during the podcast and then put out a daily wrap. It's redundant. It's unnecessary. You, you shouldn't be doing this. It's a really bad idea. But the daily wrap, if you're a dude like DSP, you just like rambling about stuff and making yourself seem like you, you did so much today, fucking have your five minute video. Tell everybody how much you enjoyed playing in the sandbox and how many new toys you got and how entertaining it was. Sure. But then stop wasting everybody's time on a stupid podcast. So let's uh, let's give him another update. Let's see what's up with him. See that? Uh, so one minute cuck is the top cuck with uh, 20 cuck coins. And he's on uh, 63 cuck bucks out of 100 cuck bucks. And then it's going to move the goalpost. Uh, I don't know how much... Uh, how many memberships he dropped, but there was a significant drop. Because last time I remembered looking at him or noticing them he was in the 600s so yeah that's what i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm drinking um so now what are we gonna do now oh yeah let's see him not learning how to ride a bike because i told you about this story but i didn't actually I like brother. play it or or listen to it when i was growing up <clears throat> my parents bought me a bike okay my dad was teaching me to, to ride it. We went out maybe two, three times, and I was just starting to get the hang of it. Just starting to get the hang of it, okay? And then my next door neighbor, who was around the same. Hey, that's a that's that's not a bad idea for a bubble blow song, actually. Because I've been thinking recently, man. I've been I've been wanting to to make some new songs, but I didn't have any ideas of what. It seems like I made a song about literally everything, but a bubble blow song, dude. R went out on his bike one day. Anyways, he was riding his bikes. bike, and he got his ass jumped, beaten up to a bloody pulp, and he had his beat up some kid to a bloody pulp. He was living in a in a bad neighborhood, bike man. Stolen. And his bike got happened, stolen. I said, I don't want to fucking ride a bike in this neighborhood, and I kept telling my dad, like, Nah, this neighborhood is not safe. I'm not gonna fucking ride a bike. Like, <laughs> I'm not stupid. I'll not stay in the yard stupid. and play with my friends. Or I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not stupid, dude. I'm gonna live in fear my whole life because something bad can happen. But uh, breaking news: something bad can literally always happen. Literally always. I can blow up right now. Spontaneous combustion. That's pretty bad, right? I'm probably gonna die. But uh, you never know, dude. You never know. I'm not gonna fucking ride around. <clears throat> and because of that, I never actually learned to ride my bike. And he and never learned how to castle. ride a bike. He just he sold it off because it was a good bike. And my guy, they bought me this uh this bike, and it was it just went to waste. Okay, no, the the official story that we heard literally today on, uh, like I said earlier, on the Taken L stream, was that his dad was in some kind of a raffle, and Phil won some awesome bike, and then this story happened, and then the dad had to give away the bike. But now he said he bought it for him. So who fucking knows? He's lying now. He's lying then. He's misremembering. He got dementia. He got amnesia. He got brain damage from drinking. Who fucking knows? This dude is so complicated. Um, and so and simple at the enough, same time. Okay. This one time. So this is this had already happened. Okay. So already I wasn't going to ride a bike. It wasn't. Oh, that that was two different bikes for a dude who couldn't learn how to ride a bike once. Didn't what? care about it. <clears throat> we went to this charity. I'm so confused right now. Basketball. What? Game where I think it was like the fire department. I guess oh, there we go. Yeah, I've heard this. The charity basketball games. The cops. The cops okay. versus the fire dudes. And at this charity basketball game, game there was six. Raffle. So my dad entered the raffle, and you know, there's tons of prizes you can win. <clears throat> they do the raffle. We win the grand prize. Take a wild guess what the grand prize was. Um, <laughs> a bike. Not only a bike. It was a 1990s high-end, all the bells and whistles, crazy neon orange stripe paint bike. Like this is one of the ones you would go to like Toys R Us or a kid's store, and it would be the most expensive bike they fucking have in the store, and every kid wants it, but no one gets it. That's the fucking bike that I won. 
right? <clears throat> so here I am, and now I know I'm not riding this bike. Like, dude, if my neighbor riding a normal bike got their ass jumped and got their bike stolen, can you imagine if my ass jumped on this fucking neon tiger stripe bike riding through my neighborhood? I probably wouldn't get two blocks of concrete before <laughs> ten people punch me in the face and take the bike. Ten people, <clears throat> dude. So, oh, man. basically... He sounded like he was living in Compton or something. God damn, these stories. It's almost like he was living in Chirac. It's incredible. Listening to this dude's stories. And the, the older the story, the crazier it is. Because, like, the, the less he remembers from it. And when he can't remember a lot, he just starts making shit up. And over-exaggerating stuff to make it more interesting. You know, I won the bike, and I had to go up with my dad and pose in front of everyone as they applauded that I won the bike. And literally, okay. the bike came home, and my dad's like, well, I guess we gotta figure out how to get rid of this. And we yeah, okay, sell it. Sold that one, too. Okay, well, okay. <laughs> there you go. If you can't actually use something, and it's really good, you just sell it, and you buy something you can use. So, I guess, big ups to Dave. But it, it's it's kind of interesting to me. It time support. Yeah, big ups, uh, Nin Starun for a super chat. Uh, it, it kind of occurred to me that there's so many things that your dad is supposed to teach you that Dave didn't teach young Dave, you know? DSP never got taught by his dad. You know, this is just casual stuff. How to ride a bike, how to swim, that you gotta change the, the oil on your car. Some, like, basic shit like that. You know, some house maintenance stuff. Makes me think that uh, DSP was constantly with Mama Linda at the zoo and eating burgers. And that's his, uh, all his best memories are from that. God damn it. Big ups, uh, Michael Kronikowski, 15 months, dude. And big ups, uh, Base Tyron Pill, 7 months. What an actual disappointment to his father. I'm, I'm, I mean, dude, Dave, he can't be proud of this. He can't be proud of this. And I wouldn't even say that it's all his fault. Because, like, DSP's a DSP. Uh, it's not all from his upbringing. It's, it's just kind of the way he's wired. It's, uh, it's kind of weird. But it is also Dave's fault, partially. I would say it's more Linda's fault. I would say it's her fault more. Because he's a, he's a total mama's boy. <laughs> yeah. Every time he brings up his dad, it's in a negative way. And his mama, she used to, like, do his hair, and she used to groom him. They went to the zoo. They went to the diner. It was great. Um, so, yeah, he spent on champions a couple hundred, uh, I guess, in the title says 300. But I don't know. At this point, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. The What, what matters is that the champ is back. He's back on champions. My theory is that... He couldn't quite get the the itch scratched from the Street Fighter game, even though it's his favorite franchise. Because maybe it was too hard, maybe it was too demanding, maybe sunken cost fallacy kicked in. Because champions, I mean, he spent so much money on that game. He's so he's so prominent and prolific. Why start over in a new game? No, we gotta go back to the champions. So the champ is here. The champ is here uh anyways then what do we got tips were abysmal well they were he got like 10 bucks for a quote-unquote special stream and he doesn't like doing the tier maker streams all that much because he wants to keep them special and now he did it one and he got like 10 bucks so the the wires in his brain that are all soaked in gin they might be just going crazy dude he doesn't know why we need to figure out why and we have a pathetic begging on the Elden Ring stream. I want to check that out. Let me tell you something. Let me brother. tell you something, buddy. Snort. I got the trip. Okay. <clears throat> so, guys. Where did I get the champ is here from? Uh, one of the Derek videos. You can find him on literally on his own channel. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show you right now. This is a, a very casual, casualized stream. We're not even trying today. So this is uh, Derek Eep. The Eep Man. Uh, is this his channel? Yeah, it is. And you can find a lot of great archive videos. And this is the actual videos from seven years ago. Me proving I am the Logitech 2K champ. Hey guys, Darius here. And I I believe that I am the Logitech the champ. 2K champy, champ. Because the, the champ. I love being awesome, cool, champ. and... 
The chap, the chap is the chap, here. The, 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 the chap. Let me repeat that again. The chap <laughs> is here. There's a lot of uh, a lot of great videos, including a Derek Derek's Q and A video number one. <laughs> Answers. And this is shit from like seven years ago. He's much more of a menace nowadays. Oh, and this one. I, I actually didn't watch this one. I don't even know who Big Dude 33 is. This is a, this is a message to Big Dude 33. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> the chap. I'm yeah, drinking. Buddy. Headphone torn. No, that's not the pre coom days. He was still busting, man. He was always no. busting. Some things never change. Egg more? Son. More never changes. Agro son. Okay, this is too much. Uh, but there was one where he was playing. What was he playing? Golf with a sock or something? It was some crazy shit. But, anyways, this is from a long time ago. You should make fun of him for the shit that he pulls nowadays, because that shit is equally stupid. But there's no video of it so far if you could support today's stream in any way i would greatly greatly appreciate it uh whether it's a like uh, a super chat a super sticker a membership a tip a gifted membership anything thank you guys in advance to anyone who does support the channel um and the playthrough i'm gonna play for another hour before i go on a break and then we're gonna do another hour after that break okay so thank you guys okay. for the great audience so far and we're going to continue on now and try to beat this God Slayer dude. He's probably going to be a crazy pain in my ass, I bet. I guess we're going to find out. <clears throat> All righty. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, Argum, you're still here. I don't know why your message wouldn't have been said in chat. It could have been a YouTube uh, censorship thing. I have no clue. A YouTube right, censorship ready? thing. <laughs> All right, guys. This is it. Because <laughs> he, like, I don't know how it works with him. Um, I'm not sure if... Um... I'm not sure if he has some like internal band list because I don't see people getting leaned in from the bot, from like Nightbot or Stream Elements, Streamlabs, whatever. I don't see them getting leaned uh, if they say Tevin or something. So he must have an actual list of banned words that even if you say in his chat, they're not even gonna come up. The the message is not even gonna exist. And I I want to see what that list is. You probably have Subaru. You have Horse, you have Jeff, you have Tevin, you probably have, uh, I don't even know. Uh, PayPig, yeah, PayPig has to be one. By the way, it's time for the break, so after I tried this one Wait, more- Wait, a helicopter? <laughs> you can't even say helicopter. <laughs> Imagine he gets interviewed again, somebody asks him, oh, Phil, why, why can't people say helicopter in your stream? <laughs> Win, loser, draw, we're gonna go on break, okay? So that's actually a, a negative meme about me. A draw, but, uh, A negative meme. Yeah. Break after this. And guys, again, guys, it would be really good guys. to support the stream today. Guys, guys, gather around. We have had a very slow support stream, I don't know why. <laughs> to me, I don't know, know why. Really well, and today, you can see it, it's not doing so well. So anything you can lend for support would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you. Oh, man. I'll probably level up as well. Okay, let's split the part here. Here we go. Guys? All right, so guys, all I'm going to do is... Okay, pee, guys. All right, and then we'll continue. I don't have time for a formal break. I went too late. Why are you using uh, such gendered language? Stop saying guys. You're a real ally, aren't you? Guys is, uh, is not a gender-neutral term. Dang. So I'm just gonna. Pee. All the people that pretend to be ladies and in chat, like uh, like Lisa Lou, they're gonna be offended. Come right Come back. on, I'm dude. Just mute the mic. And guys, final hour. It guys, would really be great if you could support the stream. Really, it would you be guys great. Can see, it's been a, a pretty darn slow filthy stream. bag. One new member. Uh, about thirty. <laughs> the bucks nasty greasy bag. Tips. So it'd be great if we could uh, get a little bit more support in the next hour. All right. I'm just gonna mute. I'll be right back. I'll just mute. Uh. uh yeah, I've been I've been saying this. Many people have been saying this. When he declares that he's gonna mute, he's not actually going to the bathroom. I don't I don't believe he is. I think it's just kind of like a walking around and, and fucking around kind of break. You know, when you're at work and you're like, man, this shit. I'm I'm kind of annoyed right now. I'm just gonna go and walk around. I'll go to the coffee maker. I'll go to the you know to the water dispenser machine thing. I'll just walk around. I'll just pretend I'm doing something. I'm getting paid for it anyways. And like, I, I don't even know why he begs before the break. It's so ridiculous. Because like, 
You beg and then you leave. Just beg when you come back. It's just common sense. Okay, guys, I'm back. Let's get it started. You know, it would be nice if we can get some support in here. Uh, but I guess he does both. So it's it's not really not really that uh that crazy. Let's see what else we got. There's no no new Keemstar salt. And if there was, it would be pretty repetitive because we already got like plenty of Keemstar salt. He he made two dedicated videos about it. I mean, it's it's been a DSP thing. He doesn't need any sponsors. Yeah, this is fantastic. He might get a restraining order, which I would fucking love that, dude. <laughs> I would want, like, Keemstar to keep fucking with him like that. And be like, Phil, after... We're getting on the on the plane to London. And we're coming straight to Seattle. We're coming. Ah, oh, that's gonna be epic. Yeah, I, 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 if somebody can get their hands on the band word list, I want to read some of those. Not, not the ones that are obviously, like, super... Like... The, uh, the racial slurs and stuff, but there are words like Subaru that you can't even say in his chat, which is fantastic. It's like, hey, Phil, why can't you say Subaru in chat? How is that a negative meme? A negative meme. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, we got this cool uh, video. <laughs> King Cobra JFS tries at Balenciaga. I'm going to send the link in chat. You can, you can watch it. Uh, so we don't... Steal the views 17 hours ago. Come on, at least like two days need to pass. Not allowed. Uh, oh, he called somebody an imbecile, imbecile moron. That's very interesting. Uh, the magic build is clearly easier than your first run, but you're cheesing encounters whenever you can. Okay, okay, yes, because there's another way to play magic, you in incredible imbecile. Imbecile, <laughs> there's totally another way to play magic, right. The face tank magic method, where you let people smash you in your face repeatedly as you cast spells like a moron. You don't try to use your environment to your advantage or anything, right? <laughs> you know all those magicians, the they run the middle of the battlefield and just, ah, oh, everyone attack me now. Yes. Oh I actually, uh, Some people are just fucking stupid, man. I, I tried playing with a magic build, kind of similar to him. Totally you know, you walk around with a staff, you just shoot like people. And shit is boring, man. I prefer the because like, they're swords and the shields and stuff. And I'm bad at the game. Right? Oh my god. Some stupid idiot just tipped me $2. Uh, and yeah, this is the gameplay. It just, and this is the actual cheesing, because, like, the dude can't actually get to you but maybe he has like a, a spear or something where he can reach in but yeah this, this is actual cheese yeah you get the guy you get the guy stuck in the textures this isn't cheesing phil come on man oh he still got hit awesome the goat that's why he's the goat but at least he got a katana I'm sure Kat would love that one. She, she used to have a katana collection. Is he actually gonna die? Oh no, he got him. so good because I do the same fucking pattern. There you go. Over and over, like, dude, you're a fucking idiot. Do anything else. Yeah. Break after this. And guys, again, guys, it would be guys. really great if you could support the stream today. Yeah, bro. We have had a very slow support stream. I don't know why. Typically, these Elden Ring streams have done really well. And today, as you can see, it's not doing so well. So anything you can lend for support would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Anything you can lend for support? Are you paying me back? You don't even pay the government back. Why Why would you pay me back? Anything you All can right, lend so guys, for support. I know what he means. All right, and then we'll continue. I don't have time for a formal break. I went too late trying no to kill this. No formal that break. Day. What is a so formal I'm break? And come right back. I'm just going to mute When you run ads? Mike and guys, final hour. It really would be great if you could support the stream. As okay, you guys now it's serious, guys. Oh yeah, I, I just saw this begging segment. They're just, they're just all the same, but it's good we get it from uh, from multiple people because this one had the imbecile clip. The imbecile was awesome, and uh, I mean DSP's last word on Keemstar. We heard that he he had this little uh, goofy. Uh, dude, I want to watch some of the, the classic hate army watch segments. Let's watch this one. Because this shit I know is old. 
This is from uh, 20th of February last year. So this is like a year in three months ago, almost. God damn, this is DSP shit talk scheme star from behind the block button. So maybe somebody should do like a whole recap on the DSP and Keemstar saga because that these two uh they should just make out and film it for people like Derek and then uh start touching each other passionately. <laughs> I want to watch some of those classic hate army stuff. Cause you can see the chat. I want to see who is here in chat. There's just one thing that uh, abundantly publicly clear on a camera speaking to all of you on the internet. Okay, let this be my official public statement of record. Official public statement. Okay, <laughs> and let this stand in the. Channel. And this like this. It, it might not look like it's from a long time ago. It actually might look like it's from a long time ago, even though it's like a, a year and a little bit. But look at how much his shit has changed, man. This camera, he used to use a, such a terrible camera and he didn't mind it. There was no problem with it. He used to have boxes of video game consoles behind him. He had no problem with it. Like this entire stream was so bad just a year ago, probably even... Even like less because this shit looks like a somebody who was a part of channel awesome in like 2013 and this is where the video is from because those people they barely ever upgrade their shit and this this looks like the same type of video of history but no it's like a year ago and he was making a hundred grand a year plus every year all right as something that i said on public record so no one can misconstrue it no one can say oh I didn't understand what Phil was saying because it was in a tweet or a post or he farted and it kind of sounded like something. I'm going to say something absolutely positively publicly <laughs> to all of you right now. Everyone listen. Entire world. All 273 of you on the stream right now. Entire world. Listen up to this statement. Okay? Okay. I'm a fucking idiot. Uh. <laughs> That's right. There are some people on the internet that for some odd reasons can't seem to keep my name out of their mouth. I don't know why, because if you don't notice, it's not it's people funny, who I usually regularly Oh, there was actually, about. um, yeah, there was multiple big, big YouTubers, like Wavy Web Surf in, uh, Old History Hub, I think was how it's called, that shit talked them on Twitter yesterday. And they said some really funny shit. Let's see if I'm logged into Twitter. Put it at cab, and let's scroll a little bit, and let's uh, let's listen to him talk. Well, meanwhile, I don't usually mention a people. Yeah, they call them the stream. stupidest Only guy on the internet, like or something like that. Brings up someone. Will I ever really f reference anything from outside of my own streaming content? Okay. Oh, there we I go. Want to pick f um, Dark Side Phil might actually be the lowest IQ person on the World Wide Web. This got nearly a thousand fucking likes, nearly. And then we got some of the replies are just ah uh, damn. Um, then we got some some someone I don't know do do jangles whatever. There's a uh, mixed with extreme hard headedness. And uh, then we got some other people that are kind of known maybe here. Oh yeah, there we go. Cody from Old History Hub. This dude got a uh, hundred and eighteen thousand followers. I've always assumed most of DSP's problems stem from the fact he's just incredibly stupid. <sighs> and then we got uh, we got some trolls. We got some detractors in the chat. The fucking idiots in the chat. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Fight. Completely evaporated him just casually. With anyone? I don't want to have problems with anyone. Because like, I, I like this shit. Uh, because I watch a lot of DSP stuff, uh, and, uh, then every once in a while I would see what somebody thinks about him, like, outside of the circle, and it's always just like, oh yeah, this dude, he's a fucking idiot, dude. He's the really fucking stupid, fuck him. I just want to be left alone. Because, like, he, he wants, he takes himself so seriously, it's comedic. It's, it's legitimately comedic. It's like, if Mr. Bean started a podcast and wanted to call himself like a, a meaningful content creator. It's like if Mr. Magoo wanted to be like a crypto fucking investor and wanted to be taken super seriously. But no, you're Mr. Magoo. 
You're 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 Mr. Bean. You're Mr. Burnell. You're a comedic character. You can't be taken seriously as, as like a dramatic character. You're a comedic character. I just want to sit here on DSP Gaming and put out fun, interactive streams. And there we go. The there you go. Exactly. And have a good time doing it. That's what this has always been about. Since the day I started making... <laughs> yeah, this is it, man. Mr. Magoo becoming a professional marksman. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> oh, man. In 2008... That's uh, watch me, watch me get a headshot on him. Oh my god, I missed. This fucking lag. Ever about? I didn't want to be involved <laughs> in anyone else's drama, in anyone else's collaborations, in anyone else's shit. I just want to be me and do be be me and do myself. You know what I mean? I've always said this. I've always said I'm kind of a man unto himself. I'm not, I feel like even though I'm amidst all the content creators out there and people constantly reference me and talk about me, I feel like I'm on, I'm isolated. I'm on an island. I do my own thing. You made right? yourself like that, though. Everyone else is all around me getting popular and doing this and doing That's that. That's your fault. And I don't really give a shit. If you haven't a everyone is around me getting popular, and I don't even give a shit. <laughs> that might be a little bit of a problem, Phil. <laughs> Everybody around me, they're they're successful, and I'm here in the dust. But I'm cool with it. I enjoy it. We can make uh, snow angels in the dust, dude. It's fun. It's fun down here on level one. It's easy. My formula hasn't much changed over the this years. This formula I'm hasn't still here changed. Every day, putting out raw gameplay content for you guys and loving what I do for a living. In fact, I love it today more than I ever have before. I get to do a fun podcast every day. All right, sure. Interactive gameplay stream. It's <laughs> awesome. It really is. This is the, the best job in the world. This is and the so, best job. Why am I bringing this up? I mean, it could be, but for him, it's not. Because, I mean, you got people that fucking shit on him and watch videos like this and make fun of him like all of us do, and get their jallies from this. And he's there trying to get, like, what, 50 bucks a day? And if that that's the thing, man. If he doesn't get that money, people are going to laugh at him. And if they don't, and if he does, they're going to laugh at him still, again. So this job kind of sucks. Because as of late, kind of sucks. There's a large group of people outside of my streams who you keep never know what to up. expect. Someday somebody might swing by. They might feel generous. They might have got their welfare payment and drop like two hundred bucks. And someday he might be like yesterday and get eleven dollars and be crying and be saying, "Oh guys, it would be nice if something like really positive happened like right now." Because I'm like feeling a little bit depressed. I don't know why. People I don't know why. There we go. Me with statements. Oh, Phil, you hear this People guy trying said to this. What do you me. think about this drama debate here me. and this and that? I'm not taking the bait. I have no I'm not taking the bait. It's a year, three months later. He made two drama videos specifically taking the bait in the last two days. Nothing to do with that shit. I God don't want to talk it, about those fucking Phillip. people. Okay? In oh, there's particular. a new classic. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. mentioning me on his Twitter feed. First, he claims that I'm oh, gonna no. be in a podcast with mentioning me. Redemption and Boogie. Then he posts again. Yo, is this, has this been going on for a, an actual year? Man, time flies differently in the Vortex. The, the podcast with Wings and Boogie been going on since actually 2022, early 2022. And stating, I have a business proposition for Dark Side Phil, but he has me blocked here on Twitter. So boys, get at it. Go tell him. Boys. Go tell me what? Get on, okay. get on the slave trade. I have no interest selling him in out for profit. Inside of a hollow tree with you. All right? He was you selling him out for a podcast. Whatever you want to do with your own shit and leave me the fuck alone. I don't know how many times I have to make it abundantly clear. You are a toxic cesspool of youtube i want nothing to do with you or any of your content ever in any way just shut up and stop talking about me leave me alone you're blocked for a reason bitch i want nothing to do with you <laughs> jesus christ like, big oh, man oh, burnell oh. you're blocked for a reason bitch nah this wasn't today this was a, a year and a half ago not a half but a year and a some change straight forward can i be in saying that I want nothing to do with that, right? But still, it continues. These people will not leave me <laughs> It still alone. keeps going, bro. Right? It still keeps going. This still shit is so simple. good. I want nothing to do with these people <laughs> at all. Leave me alone. I'm done with it. I cannot Period. believe this. Okay? Okay? <laughs> yeah, you might have... If, if you just listened to the audio, you might have just thought it was from today. 
you might have thought it was the latest DSP response, but when you look at the background, you're like, wait, this is the old background before he changed and improved his setup. I've been paid to say this. Can we I, be done um, I don't know. The, the, the corporation that sponsors Phil. Oh. Ah, ha, ha. Are we done? Thank you. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no more. And we I should start it. paying detractors to, to like, uh, uh, to, to include statements like this in his videos they will be like oh man this dude fucking sucks but now he's kind of better because he has changed and improved as a person and improved his content we should just sneak this inside you know see this is the future of marketing like and here's the truth of the matter that's how you right? convert customers Think about how dumb you have to be i'm blocked on twitter so i can't contact him okay what Twitter apparently is the only way on planet Earth to contact an individual. <laughs> Suck a dog off. Don't have a public email address for business inquiries listed right on my YouTube page. That doesn't exist. Business right? inquiries. Right? <laughs> uh, whatever. And this is what I Bro, need. Bro, this dude is living in like 2012. People just, that's how shit happens nowadays, man. On Twitter, on Discord, in a fucking YouTube comment section or whatever. Somebody is like, hey man, do you want to do this? Well, um, sure, let's do this. And then you just do this. And of course, if, if there's a lot of money involved, it's more complicated than that. But it just starts out from that. And he didn't want it to start out from that. He wanted to be reached out to like he was a big baller. Like he was somebody. Well, he is somebody on level one, so basically nobody. If people were and nobody's like him, not only do they don't get reached out to like that, they have to reach out. And he feels like he's a princess in a tower where the the prince Prince Keemstar needs to rescue Princess Burnell. Yes, of course. If he were serious, he would have uh. actually reached out to me in a method that makes sense, not spamming his Twitter feed to his fucking moronic followers. Hey, shall go spam Dark Side Phil? Let him know that oh, I'm go to spam him. Dark I don't Side talk Phil. To you, all right. Fudge stripes. Keep making them. Leave us the fuck alone. Fudge stripes, here, okay? dude. Holy what? shit. Fudge stripes. That's that's an actual thing he okay. said. So I think now I've made myself abundantly fucking clear. We can now continue on with my regularly scheduled content. Okay, well that's that. That was it. You you could have, you you could have thought that that was from yesterday or today or the day before that, or the day before that. Uh, no one can tell me why support for Horizon is low. Is this which which Horizon is this? Oh, this Forbidden Vest. Those who are here live. How is, how is support slow? He got seventy three bucks. He got the, the 25 from One Minute Man back when One Minute Man was giving 25. Um, and... Well, he got 385 on members, but... If you definitely noticed I guess that's kind of fine. On demand, you have no idea. For some reason, this game is not catching on viewership-wise. What does the that mean? The are outstanding, the plot is good, the gameplay elements are getting better. The only thing I would say is the platforming is a little wonky. Like, that's how is he for real begging... Begging like this at 73. I always keep for real begging like this. God damn. But outside of that, oh yeah, maybe it's uh maybe it's low views. Uh but before the before the moist critical thing, he would beg, he would just casually beg kind of like this uh when he was under a hundred. So as long as he's under a hundred, he would just beg shamelessly. And then Moist Critical was like, Oh yeah, Phil is a beggar. And he was like, Oh, you know what, Sir Moist? You're actually right, I am a beggar. I'm gonna stop, and then he just kept begging, just in different ways. The game is quite good, um, and I'm liking it. It's getting better the more we're, we're playing today. I, I just bought two new weapons I can't wait to try. I uh, got new armor, you know? Like, I like the game a lot, and I definitely understand why a lot of people like it. I don't know why it's not catching on with my viewership. Absolutely no one's been able to, to, to explain it, besides some people apparently just... Uh, you should be able to explain more. it. You run right. the YouTube channel, not people in your comments or your chat. They don't run anything. Some pe some of them are not even capable of running. Shout out to Jade, the champ. The champ. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't make this game. Landscapers are outside. I can't make this game more exciting. 
okay? Man. I think it's good. I'm having a really good time with it. Okay. It's staying in my rotation, okay? It's not going anywhere. Now, definitely, this is going to be balanced with other games, but it's definitely sticking around. So don't worry if you're looking at, like, geez, attendance on Phil's stream today was actually quite low compared to a normal stream. Why is it Who so would low? Say this? Like a night stream or even worse than a night Who stream? Who would say this? You know? Hey, DSP, you're getting know. low views. Why, Phil, why are you getting low views? I don't know. Uh, explain it. I think the game is great. I can't great. explain it. So, I love the pain. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't make people attend a game that they're not liking, and no one really is giving a justification for it. I think the game is quite good. Um, I will definitely say this, right? Support. Thank you to those who supported the stream. If it weren't for two people who supported with tips in a big way, yeah, it would have actually been a really slow stream too. But I appreciate that there are people showing up and supporting these streams. Thank you for that. Um, well, you see... Don't worry... If you're tired of this of course, game. It, it obviously has to be an external factor, and it can never be him. And he has a really stupid justification for why. Because, you see, he didn't change. He's still doing the same thing he always does. He's still doing the same thing as when he gets $200 in tips, and he still does the same thing as he's been doing this whole time. And he, this is his justification as to why it can't be him. So it needs to be somebody else. And there's tons of other stuff going on. Because otherwise, he had been playing any kind of game, and he can get a lot of money, and he can have the same attitude, and it's it, it can't be him. On my streams, to that you don't have to be watching this constantly. It's not going to be constant. This will be always balanced with something else. Now, if you're watching the videos on demand on DSP Gaming... Thanks for watching. If you could give the videos a like and maybe a, like. a comment and say, hey, I like the playthrough. What about this a super thanks? Tremendously, and maybe we can get more eyes on the, the channel. The super thanks saga was so obnoxious. I was I was thinking about it earlier today. That shit was so annoying because he was waiting for YouTube basically to be more like Twitch because that was his whole justification about why his channel wasn't performing very well after he came back from Twitch, even though it was a dead channel and he tried to get it back from the dead. Uh, also known as getting DSP Gaming back to prominence. And then one of his pillars of success was waiting for Super Thanks to be a thing. And Super Thanks came, they 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 arrived, they, they existed for about a week, and he was shilling them, he was begging for them, kind of like with the shorts, if you remember the shorts. And then it kind of... It suddenly just stopped because he saw there was no instant payoff and they just didn't work and it wasn't even worth begging for them. So he just didn't want to do them. Yeah, if you don't know what a super thanks is, it's basically a super chat on a um, on-demand video. And that's, that's, yeah, that's basically it. You can basically super chat somebody and leave like a, a special comment under a video. For people who do like the game... And we'll actually maybe come and watch the videos and streams. I don't know. You and know, the shorts, you know, the thing with the shorts was, was so ridiculous because it's not even him doing the shorts. It's somebody else doing them. All he has to do is just take it or, you know, talk to the guy behind the scenes, send a couple of emails, then take the short and upload it and then benefit. It's, it's a net positive. It's objectively a benefit. He doesn't lose anything from this. Somebody does it for free, and he's still not even promoting and doesn't care. It's still... This fucking sucks, man. My Everything bad. about him sucks. And he sucks in, like, new and innovative ways. And, and there's so many ways that he sucks where you can just reference people... You can reference people to him. And it's like, hey, you want to see a bad streamer? Yeah, you can see this guy who rages a lot. Or you can see this other guy who is toxic to his viewers... Or you can see this other guy who's really stupid and does a lot of mistakes in his life. You can see this other guy who's really bad with money. Or you can see Dark Side Phil who is literally all of that. And learn how to not be like him. You know? So yeah, he's kind of like a greatest hits of being terrible at YouTube content. And what's really interesting about that is that he's been terrible at YouTube content for the entire lifespan of YouTube. Since YouTube has existed, he's been bad at it, and he still is, and it's really impressive in a way. I, I can almost um, give him credit for that, but you can't give him credit for something he's not actually trying to do, and it's not his, his idea of doing. And people who are here 
seem to be having fun with the game. People are having you know? fun, dude. I'm looking at chat. I'm looking at a lot I, of I uh, comments, I, I guess. But They're I like having it, fun. Keep going with They're that. still Actually, here. I'm very excited to play this again tomorrow. I thought today was a really great stream, and I'm looking forward to more development tomorrow. Okay? So thank you guys very much for a great session. Until tomorrow, peace out, and thank you. Awesome. All right. Now, guys. So guys, that is it for the Guys. <laughs> oh, I thought there would be a juicy bag. <laughs> I thought there would be a juicy one. What do we got? Uh, let's watch some vintage fill. Uh, any kind of requests? Let's do a DSP tries it. DSP tries it. Because now that I mentioned he's been bad for the entire duration of existing on, on the platform, there's a lot of things he's been bad at. So let's take a look at, at some of them. McDonald Big Breakfast. DSP tries it 18. 20. Uh Crazy cheesy crust pizza, McDonald's muck, muck wraps, Mountain Dew Kickstart Energy. Oh, he loves those. Uh, the Cats Cam from 2018. I remember I watched something about it kind of recently, like kind of semi recently. So I'm gonna skip that right now. Oh, Machinima, remember that? This betrays it. This betrays it. What is up, everyone? Wait, Burger King macaroni and cheese? What? Wait, 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 wait. Burger King mac and cheese? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, cheese? Wendy's pretzel, cheese stuffed. Wendy ciabatta bacon cheeseburger. Burger King... No, oh, there ain't any of this. Dairy Queen Chili Cheese Dog. Oh, but but you can see uh, Leanna is filming him in this one. So I want to watch one of those where uh, Leanna is filming him. Taco Bell Rolled Cheese Tacos. Why is he wearing a beanie at home? He's, he's not even like in a, in, in a fast food place somewhere. He's just wearing a fucking beanie. Let's see this one. Dairy Queen Chili Something. Oh, thanks, Snood. Let's let's see what this one is about. Is there a panda leaf filming him? Oh yes, it is. Okay, let's see this one. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, the audio is great. Many momentous occasions. <laughs> momentous. <in the> long <laughs> and storied history. Bro, of this is mac and Cheetos. What? He tries it. The Dude. Ghostbusters energizing marshmallows. The KFC double down. Yes, he doubled down. The you know, the, 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 with the worst thing about this is I'm going to get hungry in like 10 minutes. Of I'm going to get cheese. pissed off. But today, today is the day when we try. I'm going to keep drinking. I'm drinking. The personification of American cuisine, ladies and gentlemen. Burger King, Mac, and Cheetos. The combination of two things... That some think are naturals and they go together. Oh, dangerously Who cheesy. Who thinks this is natural? <laughs> there you go. Because it's own little. Packaging. Some people think, think it's it like natural. Mac and Cheetos. Like Cheetos! Super expensive. You know, with the tiger, but, all right, got so go. much swag. Mac and Cheetos. You know, there's many things I've done for DSP Tries It. I sacrificed my, my well being and my health over the years. And this you can see uh, Panda Lee is trying to help him open it. Because <laughs> he just. He has one hand. Why didn't he get Panda Lee to like actually film him? You know, like like two human beings, and one of them is doing a show, and the other one is is filming him. What is so hard? It'd be the worst of them all, dude. So. Already, I can tell you, I can already start to get a whiff of the smell of you Cheetos. Can get a whiff of the smell of that Cheetos. Me... Smells like Panda Lee coochie. Inside the packaging, <laughs> a little bit on the cheesy side, and a little bit crusty. Good God. <laughs> It looks that like there are five. Okay, this looks Cheetos like trash. The packaging. This is this is trash. Like, uh, like cheat. What, what, what the fuck is this? Doodles, whatever you call cheese them. Cheese doodles. Like, give it a whiff here. Give it a whiff. <laughs> they kind of smell like a lighter, like a lighter flavoring of Cheetos mixed with like a fried covering. Like if you think of something you would buy fried food, you know, like a like a mozzarella stick or something like that. That's pretty much what the outer coating of them smells like. And you can hear them smelling right. it. There's like an audible go, smell sound like... 
You can't even catch it on my mic because I actually uh, put yeah, effort it's time. a little bit. It's a culmination, a culmination of many years of oh, yeah, there we go. We're it's getting filmed. You can see the the hamster mansion in the back. Look at this big mansion for two hamsters. Rest in peace, raisin and cinnamon. They were the champs. The champ. They were the champs from the the very first day. Let us hear. So now let us see. Here we go. <laughs> oh man. I have it. The mac and Cheeto. Okay. This is six years ago. This is 2016, man. This is before all that bullshit. This was when everything was chill. Or at least, like, relatively chill. Pandaline was still around. She was filming these stupid vlogs. They had hamsters going on. He didn't look like he was melting in the sun. Like a shitty Italian gelato ice cream in the sun. Everything was going on great. Oh, and uh, this was, um, yeah, it, it was before he jerked off, too, right? I think so. Jerking off, it was uh, 2017. So, yeah, this was almost a full year before. Man, life was good. We could eat Burger King Mac and Cheetos and not feel bad. And not have to go on a 10-minute tangent about how you don't like fast food anymore because it's bad. Oh, wait, he jerked off before that? So he jerked off like two months before that, and here he is making a Burger King Mac and Cheetos video. <laughs> I get my years mixed up sometimes, that's why. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> but wait, 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 hold on. Hold on. Things don't make a lot of sense. So he jerked off in 2016, and this bitch that is living with him had to live with the thought with the knowledge that her boyfriend, future husband allegedly, jerked off for the internet. <laughs> she had to live with it for like a, a year until she left. Or, alternatively, as, as he likes to say, he was really depressed two months before this video was filmed because things weren't going along great between them. But she was filming him eat fucking Burger King Mac and Cheetos. Dude! <laughs> this shit is so fucking weird. Anyways, let's uh, let's enjoy the Burger King Mac and Cheetos. We go Sri Drake for uh, 16 month ruse, man. Sway, sway. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't think he was fucking depressed at all. It's just. It could have been so much simpler, man. Just say, I jerked off, so what? Be a be a chat about it. Be an alpha about it. Yeah, I fucking jerked off. I didn't I didn't see the camera was on. Cause like for me the whole thing the, the biggest problem was that he was waiting for like the stream to go live for people to show up. So he was sitting there being like, you know what, I you know what? I'm just gonna bust a nut. Which is kind of a chad thing to do. But then you negate that Chad energy by making it about how you are actually depressed. You you inject so much drama into it that it becomes dramatic. It's so simple. It's so simple. He was there. He decided to jerk off because dudes sometimes just be sitting around and be like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to rub one out. Nah, I, I just feel like it. And, and, and then they do. It's pretty fucking simple. But he made it a whole like a, a, a whole thing. Because he needed to put so much more context onto it. Oh yeah, at the time I was depressed. At the time my girlfriend left me and my I was thinking about how sad I was because my buddy T got shot like 20 years ago. And man, I was like really, man, I need to blow some steam off. What am I going to do? I'm going to jerk off right before I start streaming. And then the camera was on. Like, come on. <laughs> <sighs> So first off, I've got a little bit of Cheetos stuck to my fingers, just as if you were eating real Cheetos. Nowhere near as much. Okay. <laughs> the coating is definitely Cheetos. Sorry, I wonder what else he got stuck to his fingers. The inside is pretty much standard fried mac and cheese that you would get at any buffet or whatever. Oh um, yeah, I'm not necessarily saying to lean into it and make it like a part of your brand, but own up to it. Like when somebody brings it up and it's like, Hey, um, 
you know, you, you jerked off. You'd be like, yeah, I, I jerked off, dude. Guys jerk off sometimes, but this time the camera was on. It was really bad place and time, right? But I was, you know, shit just fucking happened. I'm gonna be honest with everyone. Should have just stood and said, are you not entertained? The, uh, well, the thing is, he was like, really, he was literally caught with his pants down and he didn't know what to do. Actually didn't know what to do. And he didn't know how to actually handle that moment. And, and those kind of moments are real hard. Because you can take it two ways, right? You can embrace it, Everyone or you can no-sell it. One before stream just to take the edge off. I can't be the only one. Uh, I'm sure you're not the only one. I can't necessarily relate to this. Uh, all the time. Ha. But, um, yeah, you, you're not the only one. I'm sure you're not. It's gross. Ugh. Ugh. It's got this- Why? You know, just like, it fucking happens sometimes. You're just walking around the house, it's like a, a random day or something, and you're bored, and you're like, Eh, hey, you know what, I'm just gonna bust one. Eh, like, whatever. Now I'm gonna go play some video games, or go to the fucking store or something. Did you read a whole it's like a thing people do. Literally, it happens to 90% uh, of people at some point. Obviously not with a camera around, especially when it's plugged in. Or broadcasting on the internet. That's why he's so special. Because for him, the camera was on. A nasty aftertaste. First of all, it's almost like... It's very salty. And the thing was that it wasn't just funny that he did it. It was funny the way he did it. And the faces he made. And the whole thing. You know, when you put some background music to it, it gets even funnier. It was just like a... a like it was funny man it's just a funny thing i don't know how to say it but it also has this like sour flavor too yeah and then it's not just the bust face it's later the denial it's later the reaction when it's like oh the, the camera's on camera's been on the whole time huh and it's like the the realization it's like a three-act structure you can make like a, a two-hour movie from that especially with with all the uh with with all the the background information you can make probably like an hbo series out of that it's gonna be called the bust and you're gonna start from when it actually happens and then we're gonna go back in time to like when he met liana and then you can jump forward in time to when she left him and then you can jump back in time to like when he was depressed and when he was eating Burger King mac and Cheetos for a DSP tries it. You can do so much with this. HBO is going to go crazy. It does. And it's just, it's, it's because Cheetos naturally don't actually taste like real cheese. They don't. They taste like almost a sourish kind of a powdery taste to them. And so when you're combining this artificial cheese flavor with what's supposed to be real. Yeah, I wish we could interview Pandalee. I would ask her where the load went. Cheese from <laughs> hey Pandalee, where did the load go? This is one of our most requested questions. Mac and cheese. Anyways, just, uh, this dude is supposed to be explaining how something tastes. So let's pay attention. Die. Like they don't taste coherently together. Like you could taste both and they kind of clash against each other. Yeah, bro, it's a gimmick oh. food. It's I literally a gimmick food. In my mouth. That shit. Would you stop looking at the hands here? <laughs> Even Panda Lee gets bored in the middle of a DSP tries it. And this bitch knows this shit is gonna get like 10,000 views. And she just points the camera at the hamsters. Yeah, let's, let's just look at the hamsters. In my mouth. <laughs> that shit. Would you stop looking at the hamsters? I've got this acting. In a way, like, Panda Lee has more personality than Cat can ever even, like, dream to imagine. Pandali, at least, she was an annoying bitch, she was infantile, she was obnoxious, she was abrasive, but she had personality. There was like, you you see her acting like shit, and she was like, you know what, that's Pandali. You see Cat, and you're like, oh yeah, this could be any, any alien in the skin of a human being, ever. Zero personality. In my mouth. Zero. Oh, that just, it's not going away, it's a lingering saltiness in my mouth. That is just not very pleasant. And you ate a whole one. I'm gonna try one more. Oh my just god! To what? See no, no bullshit! Changes. You can't Let's say see. that it's bad. And, oh my god! You can't say it's bad and then eat a fucking. And she's one. calling his shit out. Mmm. Why? It's not gonna taste any different. Oh, oh my also, god. Also, 
Surprisingly enough, it's very dry. Yeah, like he's wearing a chain. It's gooey on the inside, but it actually all the, tastes pretty dry. All authentic Italians actually wear chains, if you didn't know. Somebody should should ask him what happened to his chain. And it's not overcooked. Take a look. Hey, Phil, why are it's you not wearing properly. your chain anymore? Put properly. That's pretty much how it comes out. Ugh. I've eaten a lot of things on DSP Trizic. This is just, it's just the idea of it sounds weird and gross. And the final product is yeah, it's a gimmick. Like I was maybe hoping I'd be pleasantly surprised. No, this is not. Oh yeah, this I, should be a right. This should be a tips goal, <laughs> the chain goal. You guys love it. I look like a gangster. Oh, <laughs> oh man! You know, it's not that I hate Cheetos. I've eaten them from time to time. Yeah, I bro, we know the, the cheese poofs that use the real. Give cheese. it a one out of fifteen already. They taste better to me, and that's why I don't like it. It doesn't taste like real cheese on the outside. This would be better, honestly, if it were just fried. A fried mac and cheese. That's what fried mac and cheese is. Mac and cheese covered in a regular batter. It would taste better, but the Cheetos flavoring just- Will you stop looking at the hamsters? This shows Phil even back then tries to make everything about himself. Yeah, no poop. It tastes like salt. It's BK. Yeah, well, if we gotta be straight up, this is a, a DSP tries it video, not a, a hamster tries it. <laughs> so her just pointing it at the hamsters is just her being bored. It's but I can't like blame a, her. Like I really can't. With something that's real. And no, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what he was expecting. This is just some gimmick food that you're supposed to try once and then maybe you're gonna like it and try it again out of like curiosity or something. But it's it's not supposed to be something that you, you review and you take very seriously. Unless you're a report of the week. If you're a review bra, you can review anything. You can review literally anything and make it good and entertaining Not and insightful. It's, it's cheap. That's the thing. It's cheap. It's supposed to be a side. Like if you get this in place of onion rings or fries, you know, you get this as a side. But ugh, I don't like it. And of course, it's terrible for you. You know, so tons. Of, I think it's like 15 grams of fat per serving and stuff like yeah. that. Gross. No, I'm gonna give the mac and Cheetos. A 1.5 uh, out of 5. Value wise, okay. it's not bad. 250 for a side, but. Is that the 0.5? Value. Value. Because then you no. get heart disease. It just does not taste good, and I would not recommend it. Obviously, for health reasonings, <laughs> right? But. Health like, reasonings. Like, double down is terrible for. In all these phases, man. For you, but I actually like the flavors of it. You know, two delicious <laughs> pieces of fried chicken with bacon. All, makes sense. This just doesn't make sense to me. If you want real mac and cheese, get it. Don't combine the fake with the real into something like this. Yeah, bro, it's literally fucking Cheetos. It's not mac and cheese, dumbass. It's Cheetos. It's mac and Cheetos. It's a brand deal. It's a brand collab. It's not supposed to be real fucking awesome know, food friend. that you take seriously. It's like the DSP of fast food, I guess. You know, food <laughs> items that normally it's I would a gimmick. have back when I lived on the East so Coast. So what is this? Canada. This is in, oh, wow, eight years ago. This is 2014. God damn, that's why the audio is so good. Connecticut and in Connecticut I always had a Dairy Queen that was right next to me however that Dairy Queen only served ice cream they didn't serve yeah this, this is like all it also irritates me when he talks about the health shit like like bro you look like you can breastfeed 12 children shut the fuck up about healthy shit you don't you obviously don't care about it why are you acting like you pretend to care about what is healthy and what is not Ooh. And I know that's weird because a lot of people say, well, Dairy Queen's always sold fast food. There were actually a couple places in Connecticut that didn't do that. They were just ice cream. And, and nowadays so he's, he's more food. obnoxious with it because now it's like New Phil. New Phil is like a uh, straight edge. He doesn't drink. He doesn't eat bad food except when he does. And uh, he cares about his body because he's getting up there in age, you guys. He can die any minute now, just like, uh, just like the doctor told his mom. You can die any minute now. You can live for years, but any minute now, you can just blow up. You can explode. And it's going to be really bad for the economy. West Coast, we're actually trying out different stuff. And there's a Dairy Cream right down the street from us. And hey, there's a Dairy Cream. Try some of their food. So the first thing that I wanted. Have you guys been to a Dairy Cream? It's, uh, it's great. Try. <laughs> it's robust. It's an item that you can't usually get. Uh, at many fast food places, a hot dog, but in particular, it is their chili cheese dog. And uh, I usually get chili cheese dogs at a couple places in Connecticut, but they weren't like widespread chains. They were little local places. So I'm curious to see what Dairy Queen can do with this. So as you can see, 
As you open it, I mean, of course, you're gonna you're gonna expect incredible amounts of grease. You know, melted yes. cheese. I see the meat there. You don't just expect it. You can you can get it. Yeah, you look like you. That's that you got the grease special, and buddy. Much is <laughs> this overloaded. is this is uh, this is some type of shit Derek's gonna get aroused by. Uh, all over the place, as you can see. This, this is, is not something you eat. The cheese, but I would definitely eat it right now. I I don't give a fuck. Melted all over the sides, the bun. But that's pretty typical. I'm not gonna be like DSP and say, "Oh my god, this is so disgusting." Now let watch me eat it. I would just fucking eat it. Also for a chili cheese dog. So I'm actually interested to see what this tastes like. I believe this is three dollars. I'm not hundred percent. I think it's three dollars uh, at Dairy Queen. So I'm gonna taste it. Hold on a second here while I. Hey, Panda Lee, shout out. Mess, so I'll put my not even a shout out. Uh, you just kind of exist. We got a nice view of my cheeseburger. So not to distract anyone. All right, let's see exactly what this uh, this is like. First of all, bend it back and try to find a place to grab it that it's actually not covered in cheese. Like th that's the, the thing, man. Now the the standard for food review videos is so fucking low. If they put in a tiny bit more effort to like edit this shit, to like get a a, a stand for the camera and get Pandali to actually direct the whole thing, and you know make some kind of production value dsp tries it could have been a casual but very successful food review series and instead it looks like a born movie the camera is shaking all the time like they've been chased by a serial killer the dude like the audio is terrible there's barely any editing there's pretty much no editing outside of just starting and ending the video it literally looks like found footage you are very right roman's ranch it looks like found footage it looks like they got killed in like a double suicide uh, slash homicide slash axe killing slash Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And somebody found this footage and they're like, oh, wow, look, this is the boring part. Let's skip to the fun part. I can tell just by touching it. It does have and a it's like good... this is this is his whole thing that he could have been unironically a successful channel and actually been successful and nowadays he could have been uh, making a video a week and paying some random editor freelance dude to edit it would have been just like one of those videos like redfall sucks here is why here's 10 reasons why redfall sucks and he could have pulled his own like uh the hateful truth kind of gimmick and it could have worked because nobody fucking cares people just watch videos it's really not that deep it's not that serious and he could have had a very successful and uh, profitable channel and not care about anything but no he wanted to be a dsp aroma of uh, you know meat and cheese well i'm gonna take a bite from the end that's covered in the chili there you go all right let's see what this is like Hmm. It's pretty typical. Um, it's typical. The flavor of the meat is good. <laughs> it, it, it's it definitely tastes typical. like standard like ground beef or chili. It's a typical it's out of ten. Special. There's not any extra spices. And it's basically just melted cheddar. So it's as basic as you could expect. As you can see, the hot dog is pretty skinny. It's not like an extra chubby or whatever. It is a standard size, which is, I believe, uh, I think they're six inches. I'm not 100%. <laughs> he knows the dimensions of a hot dog. <laughs> And then we get this, bro, these fucking faces. And then shit starts coming uh, out, and he just shoves it back in his mouth. On how long they are. Let's take another bite here. Oh, uh, let's take another bite here. <laughs> Do you call this a bite? I would call this a megabyte. Maybe even a gigabyte. That's no bite. Hmm. And he looks like a like a drug actually, dealer in a in a in a McDonald's at like 3 a.m. A little bit more flavor of the hot dog, the meat, and it was pretty good. <laughs> so, but he looks like a drug dealer that sells like laced weed, and nobody told him it was laced. The dude he buys it from didn't tell him it was laced. <laughs> Quite honestly, nothing. Dude, this shit's gonna so fuck you up, man. On his Christmas list, tired face. <laughs> oh, the XL chubby glizzy. <laughs> This is definitely on Panda Lee's Christmas list. Special. Definitely. It's exactly what you would expect. No extra things in there to kick it up a notch. No peppers, no kind of even real seasoning. It's just the, the chili meat mixed in with some uh, melted shredded cheddar. It's not bad, but it's not great. 
For three dollars, I mean it's a little pricey. I'd probably expect to pay anywhere from a dollar fifty to two bucks for a hot dog, so I'd pay an extra dollar for the chili and cheese. I'm gonna go like perfectly down the middle. I'm gonna say this is a two point five out of five. It's not bad. It's not great. It's something different, but it's not amazing. It's a fifty percent. A little bit more with it, but I think they just kind of wanted it as a variety menu on their a variety item on their menu rather than caring about oh let's make it something unique. Yeah, bro, it's so, literally fucking fast food, dumbass. The they don't give a fuck dog. about anything. This yeah. might this fucking hot dog might have been on the floor and somebody pissed on it. They would still put it on your hot dog. They don't I give a really fuck, a man. It's PS fast food. It doesn't deserve a review. You know, by default, it's nothing special. It's mid. Uh, let's see the Wendy's Bacon and Blue on Brioche Burger. Fantastic and delicious and robust. Damn. This be it. Hello everyone, welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It. Today we've got yet another new offering from Wendy's Restaurants. This one is... <clears throat> Drum roll. The bacon and blue on brioche burger. Burger. So you can see a toasted brioche <laughs> bun. Brioche. You get, you get a greens mix. You get, you get some green tomato, shit and, and some tomato. Sauce. I'm not even sure what it is. It might be some kind of aioli. I'll have to see. Burger. Burger. Two slices of bacon. <laughs> and you're supposed to get blue cheese crumbles as well. Which it looks to me like a, f a couple have fallen off. This uh, this might be my favorite burger sample. I don't know why. Not sure what it is. It might be some kind of aioli. I'll have to see. Burger. Burger. Two slices of bacon. And you're supposed to get blue cheese crumbles as well. Which it looks to me like a, f a couple have fallen off. Oh, uh, it's so dumb. I'm hoping that most of them are still on the burger there when we try this. So. Very good. Right, try this out. It's a variation. I've had ones like this before, but I don't think we've ever had one with the blue cheese. Is Pandali here? Yes. I'm a fan of Pandali blue cheese on certain things, not on everything. So I'm interested to see how it will turn out on a burger. Uh, like this. Let's see here. It's really weird that Rotate he edited this there, video in some capacity, but didn't edit the part where he passes the camera to Pandali. That yeah. makes it look super amateurish. And now we get a delicious chomp. Mmm. Mmm. Is it yummy? A lot of flavors. Mmm. The saltiness of the bun and the bacon stand out. You do get a mellow taste saltiness of, of the bun. In there. I'm not sure what the sauce is, actually. Hold on. <laughs> I think it is like a garlic aioli-style sauce. I'm going to take another bite. Uh... That's how he tastes the, the sloppy seconds after mm. somebody runs a train on cat. Like, I wonder whose sauce that, that is, is from. Oh, that's Tyrone. Well, last time it was Jim. Oh, very nice. So robust. The flavors go together. They did a good selection here. With the garlicky flavor of the aioli. Garlicky. Compliments. <laughs> The bacon yeah, this is a very disgusting cheese. stream. A real complaint I have about the burger. But come on, I, I dissed uh, Pandalese right. pussy. I gotta diss like Cat's yellow. pussy it's too. It's not red at all. But outside of that, the burger is absolutely It's only delicious. fair. Um, we this gotta is do it. They also offer in the double and a triple. My God, who could eat a triple? I don't know. And it goes for around five bucks, which is what you would expect from a premium style burger like this. Right I think here? it's pretty good. It's different. Oh, this it's is a really quick video. This is just flavor. three minutes. Taste different things. If anything, maybe a few more blue cheese crumbles, but at the same time, I know a lot of people don't like blue cheese too much, and maybe if they put more on there, it would be overpowering. So, a LeBron give James the Sprite. Bacon and blue wow. on brioche. I'm going to give it a four out of five. It's pretty good value, pretty tasty. Um, I'm lowering my score because my tomato is not right. That's the store's fault, though. I'm sure. You know, oh, let's see this one Taco Bell. Daredevil. Excuse me. Daredevil. Hello, Loaded Welcome Grillers. Parentheses. Another bot. New edition of DSP tries it with a brand new item that was just announced uh, this past week on television that we noticed. At Taco Bell, it's called the Daredevil. I should put this over. Daredevil Loaded Grillers, which are supposed to be our. Why is it so dollar. tiny? Grillers. Oh, it's $1, kind of, okay. You think about it, it's more like a, a tiny burrito or a smaller burrito with way less ingredients inside of it. And there's three levels. There's one that's mild. That one's supposed to have chipotle in it. There's one that's medium. That one has habanero in it. 
And then there's this one, the hottest one that's supposed to have oh, ghost, ghost pepper. pepper in it. Now, for anyone who's actually had ghost pepper, from what I'm to understand, it's quite hot. It's really hot. And so it's funny that all in fast food recently you hear ghost pepper, ghost pepper, ghost pepper. It's kind of like the hot. Oh, yeah. I, I hadn't noticed before that. But, yeah, he has uh, paper plates for this one, too. Word. The right, awesome put, paper plates. Really doubt like, this dude is so fucking weird, man. I've never in my life thought of using paper plates just casually. It's always been a thing, like, if I'm having somebody over or some big gathering of people... And it's like, hey, you know, we might we might use paper plates for this one. This is seriously ghost pepper. Or this dude is just like it's casual for him. It's day in, day out paper plates. Let's go. It's the go to because you don't have to wash them. It's probably such a small, minuscule amount. You just have to buy more no way that's when they're dollar. finished. They give you a griller that's that hot that would burn your mouth out. You know what I mean? So it's only a dollar. And for a dollar, it's actually quite hefty. It's about the size of uh, a burrito. I'll show you here what you get. And it is grilled it's on their, their typical tortilla, right? So it's hefty. It's not. It's definitely bigger than a taco. And a taco, I believe, goes for around a buck. So you're actually getting a lot more food than a typical taco, which is kind of good. So I got ghost pepper. We also got a habanero. Uh, I don't know, Arlene, are you going to try that one? The habanero? I'll try them. And give it a taste here. So hey, Pandalee is still here. And we'll, we'll try it together here and we'll see what we think. This is, um, oh, 2015, like okay. We're here. all over the place on this one. Let's see if the dude is still alive. I, I don't think he is. Uh, but let's see if he exists on some plane of existence. Oh, yeah, this stream is done. Uh, and he just uploaded the video. Dude, this is so cool. Um... Yeah, apparently there's some new raw restream channel called LolCow TV. So we had a bunch of ridiculous game bugs. Ridiculous it was game a bugs. Fun stream, I would say. I want to say thank you to those who joined me for it. So uh, 67, you guys. Guys, support has been um, mid, I guess. But the night stream. What is he playing on the night stream? Uh, 3:45. Oh fuck that shit. This is in two hours from now. Which means I gotta exist for two more hours, and then for two more hours. That's not happening. You gotta gotta find somebody else. Who knows, like chips, cheese, and meat, or something it like that. It doesn't feel like there's anything particularly hard in mind. Yeah, we'll yeah Oblivion, that's probably gonna be... Uh, some big whale is gonna swing by, give him a 50. Even though... Yeah, yeah, it's that's probably what's gonna happen. Somebody's gonna whale out. Because otherwise, he's gonna have a really sl slow day, and tomorrow is his day off. And, you know, he cries a lot before his day off. Okay, well, give it a bite. So give it a bite, too. I got, what is it? You got hab habanero. habanero. It's supposed to be medium. Mine's ghost pepper. It's supposed to be super hot. Okay. Oh, WPIG is up in an hour. Okay, maybe then I can, um, uh, I can forward you there. Hmm. All I could taste with that first bite was meat and cheese. All I got was bread and sauce. All I got was salt. Was it a hot sauce at all? Yeah. I think it's a little hotter than maybe the standard hot sauce, but it's kind of in that in that realm. I literally got nothing but meat and cheese. I taste no hot sauce at all, so I'm going to go further yeah, in look, here. Yeah, look, I got no meat. <laughs> and you got a chip, so there is a chip in there. One of those weird, weird red tortilla Ugh, chips, right? This is like... Um, what this reminds me is, is like those really worthless conversations you have with your significant other when you're having fast food and it's basically uh, like a nothing discussion they forget the ghost pepper in mine they just like, filmed it no heat at all there's nothing and they posted it online and this dude got lamb, probably cheese and meat is all i take two thousand views you got like a, a pretty well, decent well, amount of money back in the day the other Boy. end now because typically if one end is oh, yeah has wow. nothing in it oh, so you don't awesome. see any sauce i'll see cheese and meat you know those conversations were like oh yeah i'm eating this burger yeah i can taste um starts leaking out i can taste some salt and try the other end now yeah honey that 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 so shit kind of sucks. I didn't taste any meat in that first bite. It was just, yeah. it's just like a, like they slapped, like they just emptied a little jar of sauce and just slapped it on, oh. slapped on some chips. I think out. I'm the complete opposite here. Okay, yes, let I me do. take a bite yeah. from this end. Oh no, not, not the, not the mouth sounds. We're not having the chewing sounds. That shit is fucking disgusting. That shit is disgusting. You can't listen to that. 
Well, let's see some of the uh, some of these. Uh, McDonald's jalapeno double, Arby's club stack, Arby's beef hero. Let's see this one, Jer um, Greek style. Let's go Greek for a minute. This is eight years ago. Damn, this is 2014. Audio is gonna be Hello, terrible. Everybody, and welcome to another edition of DSP tries it. That's and not this that time bad. Around, we're doing something, a brand new food item that That's pretty bad. just noticed was at our local Arby's. And we, they never had this before. This is a beef gyro or gyro, however you want to say, gyro. Some people pronounce it different ways depending on where you're from. I'm not even close to how What if you're uh, Italian? How do Italians Greek, call it, Phil? Uh, food. And traditionally, what they put in it is lamb or a lamb beef kind of a mix. For Arby's, I get the feeling they didn't want to have a whole new type of meat. Bro, so start start eating. This is like a four minute video of, of a one minute is just talking about stuff and shaking the camera. A pita bread. This dude fucking sucks. A big fluffy pita bread. Oh, this is terrible. See. And like I said, I selected the roast beef. Okay. This is terrible. Inside, you got lettuce, tomato. Um, Why is it? And the, the, the fucking <laughs> the pita bread is so thick. Man, Special, this is disgusting. Chachki sauce. And they, they, they just put like a slab of meat. This is terrible. Terrible. Tzatziki. Tzatziki sauce. Is that how it's pronounced? I never knew how to pronounce it. I was like, Tzatziki. <laughs> call this a chachki sauce? Ch a chachki sauce. Tzatziki. No. Is that how it's pronounced? I never knew how to pronounce it. I was, I was just like, Tzatziki sauce. <laughs> so, all right, it's a sauce. sauce. Now, traditionally, again, in a, in a uh, Greek gyro, it's a cucumber style sauce. I don't cucumber know. Cucumber style sauce. This, this could be a yogurt sauce. It could be a yogurt a bunch sauce. Of different things because there are different ways to do a gyro. Tzatziki okay. has like yogurt, cucumber, garlic, um, some other shit. Okay. So, I actually want to take a look. Oh, yeah. See, there you go. Yeah. Open it oh, up. Oh, this is fucking nasty, nice dude. Fluffy, Send this back. This is good. This is so fucking some, trash. Like, some of these where the actual uh, pita was like hard. It like know, actually looks dry. terrible. Yeah, this is very, very soft and tender and warm. So I'm going to try this out. I'll let you know what uh, I think. Let's see here. Stack it up nicely. And you can almost smell a little bit of sourness to it. So I'm thinking it might be a yogurt. Yeah, look, a good, a good one see. looks kind of like this. Pretty much. And this shit looks fucking nasty. Look at this. Look at this. Look, this looks like something you would buy at an airport for like two dollars, and then it would give you uncontrollable. Um, I don't know. I don't know. And diarrhea. You can almost smell the sourness to it. Ah, it might be a yogurt sauce. We'll have to you see. You would rock the bathroom. <laughs> uh. Mhm. Mm is he gonna like it? Is he? Is he gonna give it like a three point five out of five? Oh, and the hamsters are gone, but they they hadn't got them yet. This is twenty fourteen. This is when they moved. Sorry. This is uh, September twenty fourteen. So they were freshly uh, Washingtonians. Taste it. Mm. Mm. This is the real deal. Looks good as fuck, man. This is how it it's actually, actually looks. Sweet. While you get the richness of the beef. Richness. You actually can taste the onion very strongly. What That's richness of what, dude? This beef is broke as fuck. Richness of what? Bro. This beef is more bankrupt than you. Then the tomato and the sauce is actually pretty good too. I'm gonna take a bite here. This was cut like six weeks ago. God damn. Mm. As you can see, it's nicely loaded. Very How is cool. it loaded? Ooh, show that load it's again. disgusting. <laughs> actually terrible nice. this is one of those things where good. he eats and these dsp tries it where it genuinely just looks terrible it's good and it's tasty it's an alternative for someone who maybe wants to get something with beef or roast beef or turkey remember there's a turkey variation too but you're not you're tired of the bun you know what i mean you're tired of the traditional bun the one thing that i would say about this unfortunately that i didn't like is the price the uh -oh. price was i believe uh four dollars and change just for the gyro itself. The oh, you got scammed. Was, uh, five ninety. Yeah, you got scammed. If if you bought, if you spent four dollars for this, you got scammed, and you're probably entitled to some kind of a something. Nine or so. You should go seek vengeance. Or six and change, something like that. Combo's not bad, and it is filling. It's heavy. It's actually very heavy. I would say it's probably about the amount of meat on a medium or large roast it's beef. It's embarrassing. The price. Okay, next one. 
Uh, oh no, wait, uh, let's wait for the rating. This is a little bit eh, but uh, I like So I call the 3.5. It's different, it's delicious. I'm actually gonna give the Arby's Gyro a four out of five. Oh, a four out of five. I'm sorry, you should get your uh, reviewer's license taken away. This is, this is not a four, four out of five. I'm looking at it, I can tell it's, it's dog shit. Come on, I just showed you like a photo of a super generic uh, I can even show you the Turkish version. It's the, the doner kebab. Fantastic. Look at this. This is how shit's supposed to look. Look at this. And then she shows you this thing, which is like a bunch of fucking... Uh, no, this stream is gross enough. I'm not going to make other stuff, but I would say something about a foreskin. So let's, <laughs> let's just keep moving. Uh, a nice alternative. It's tasty. Is it an authentic 100% Greek gyro? No, it's not. You wouldn't You wouldn't know even if you got one, you wouldn't know. Unless it said so on the box. And then you would be confused. And you wouldn't know how to read it. So anyways. Um, what is this? Pizza Hut. A f DQ Flamethrower Burger. Let, let's see one of the newer ones. Okay, let's try. <laughs> <laughs> The episode 120, dude. Burger King grilled dogs. And you can see the thumbnail is him forcefully shoving one in his mouth. Like, that hot dog is screaming for help. It's screaming. We need to watch this. This has to be a, a classic. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new DSP Tries It. This is actually one nasty glizzy gobbler. Ever since Burger King launched their grilled dogs in late February of 2016, finally had a chance to head over there after getting some coupons in the mail for them. And so we're going to try them out. In fact, there's two varieties there's a classic and a chili cheese. I'm going to try them both and let you know what I think. Now, just for upfront information, the classic costs $1.99. The chili cheese cost $2.29, so an additional $0.30 cents for the chili and cheese. I'm honestly not sure what comes on each one. We're going to find out here as I take them out of their bags to begin with. So each one, as you can see, comes in its own individual bag. And a piece of cardboard to pull out here. So this is the classic dog. It looks like it's got ketchup, mustard, relish, and diced onions on top of the dog, which looks like they cut it in half to split, you know, so it doesn't burst on the grill. And the bun appears to be, no, it is not. Darn, I thought the bun was toasted. It is not toasted. It is kind of just a, you know, a standard hot dog bun. Okay, so that is the classic. And now we'll take out the chicken. How is the food in Europe? That's a very good question. Usually, the more poor the country the better the food gets because when people suffer they find out ways to make very nice food and when countries are successful and they colonize other countries they just uh take their food and they don't have any great traditional food that's what i've my personal experiences have taught me so yeah you go to a broke country you're gonna have awesome food so here's your chili cheese it appears to be a chunky style chili with actual beans. If you well, actually, is that a bean or is it a piece? No, it looks like a bean, right there, and chunky pieces of meat in it. Now I don't know if this is new. I don't think they had chili before, so this should be interesting. And this just looks like standard shredded cheddar that they've melted on top of the dog. Now immediately I can tell you these are a lot smaller than the pictures on TV and the pictures in the advertisements. These look like standard size hot dogs, principally if you went to say the grocery store and you bought a pack of them, that's pretty much the size they are. They don't look any bigger. Flavor wise, don't know. This, uh, I mean, yeah, look, here's the ad. The, the topping on the one on the left side looks looks absolutely terrible. Look giant and juicy, and you look here. <laughs> no, I'm sure the U.S. had some great food in in some places. I mean, it's it's so big, you, it's unavoidable. You have to have some great food. Mm. I haven't been to the U.S., so I don't know, but I'm I'm sure they have some great food. Looks a little bit different, in real life. Like gumbo looks like it's pretty fucking awesome to me. There's some some of the the chili stuff looks amazing, but uh, I will let you know how they taste. You know, I'm curious because hot dogs could taste very different. I've had hot dogs that kind of taste more generic and bland. I've had ones that have like a flavoring to them, spices. Nathan's hot dogs in particular have like this special flavoring recipe that I really like. So let's find out 
how the dogs stack up to other dogs. So here we go. So first, I think I'll take a bite of the classic. Now it looks like, unfortunately, this side had all mustard. This has both, so I'm gonna take a bite from that end to try to get a taste of all of the condiments plus the onion. Oh yeah, YouTube kind of screwed yeah. up uh, live chat. Now it's, it's in a tiny little box. It, I, I don't, whatsoever. I don't know why it works like that. Kind of weird like that. And a little further so we can get meat. All right. <laughs> the taste test. This was uh, this was not him putting up the timestamps. I'm I'm sure. You see nothing special whatsoever. But they got it right on point. Push the taste test. So you can get meat. Push All right, let's get some meat in this. <laughs> he's like he's trying to fit a truck in his mouth. <laughs> like he's trying to fit a. It's like you get um some uh, alien monster trying to fit a busload of children in his mouth. So, <laughs> man. Like a school bus of children, just like, I, I want devour, devour. I need to consume more, much, quite honestly, more flesh. Like a standard hot dog that you would eat off the grill. Although I'm not tasting too much of a grill flavor, I get a little bit of it. But it might be because also all the condiments that they put on the dog uh, you know, keep in mind, Burger King does cook everything on a flame broiled grill. They don't fry it. It actually has a grill, so you should have, you know, you would think there'd be maybe grill marks or something. And there are, well, actually, take this out. Grill marks on top of the dogs. So grill yeah. marks, okay, so there you go. It. I'm gonna give it another So it bite. has been grilled. Maybe they're painted. <laughs> and then we give another bite. <laughs> this is not a bite, dude. This is a terabyte. So, hmm. Pretty good. Oh. It's not dry, which is good. I was nervous that they would overcook it and it would actually be a little dry. It's not. It's actually pretty juicy. It's got decent flavor. I'd say it's on par with like a middle of the road kind of hot dog, like a Hummels or yeah, something Yeah, he didn't, like that. He didn't not, care about uh, overwhelming, like, combing like his hair things. or any any of that. He was just making videos the back then. Because so, videos were the thing making money, so he would just make a video of anything. He would just palette, wake up, bust out the camera, now, make a video, walking downstairs, chili, talking about what he's going to do with his day, upload it, make a video eating food, make a video looking at hamsters. He would make a video of everything. Just call it a vlog. are holding together quite nicely. And I, then I, they I stopped making views, and then it was like, you guys, I need to separate my personal bad. life. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take a bite from this end, because this has the most chili and cheese on it. Let's see what it tastes like. What does it taste like? Robustness? Yes. Mmm. Well, first off, not a hot chili whatsoever. There wasn't even a bit of heat in the chili. It was a meaty chili. It tasted a lot of meaty flavoring, that savory <laughs> flavoring that you get from chili. And the cheese is pretty standard. You know, just melted cheese. It's not like it's seasoned or anything. I actually kind of just want to taste the chili itself. Very meaty and you can taste the meaty. Meaty. I think there's a bean base and there's beans or something in there too. Cause you can kind of taste that kind of flavoring. I'll take one more bite. Mmm. Mmm. If he had something I to like talk that. about, he could have made this like lunchtime with Smosh. Because that's what I used to watch food. when I was like 12. Because these dudes, they would just go to so some fast food place and get some food and then just eat it. Good and then talk about stuff, just shoot food. the shit. It was then like an actual vlog. And he right. needs to be like a, a so special reviewer. He needs to give it a rating. For this and tell you what it tastes like and if it's worth paying for. 12 of these at the store for like four or five bucks. You can buy your own buns, you can buy your own condiments, and probably for about 50 cents, you can make this hot dog at home. Now you may not have a grill, maybe you gotta use a frying pan, or if you have a grill in your backyard, you can easily make this, no problem, and it'll taste the same. This, however, that chili, which needs to slow roast, 
right? You need to have a pot that's simmering the chili in order to get the flavors you get out of that. That's different because that's not only a grilled dog, but you get the chili flavor that really tastes good. You can't just buy that in a can. It's not gonna taste the same. So in my opinion, if you're gonna ask me which is better, I'm gonna say 100% get the chili cheese over the classic. Not everyone <laughs> likes chili though. So maybe if you just want the option to get something that's not chili, I certainly would say the classic is good, but for $2, for a hot dog you can make at home for 50 cents, I'm not gonna say run out and go to Burger King and buy their hot dog because of that. This one I would say, this is something different. There's not a lot of places that do chili cheese dogs. In fact, when I lived in Connecticut, there was only one place that did it and it was a local place. It was a local uh, uh, Vinny's restaurant. Pizza? It wasn't like a chain. But, you know, who does Vinny's Sonic hot dogs? Chili cheese dogs. Vinny's uh, chili maybe, cheese like, dogs. Other like nationwide thing in the United States does them on the regular. I think this, would actually get people out to Burger King. I do, because it's something different. <laughs> really? So, overall on the rating scale. There are lines in front of Burger King the when they release dog that. At Burger King. A 2.5 out of 5. Right in the middle. Because it's not great. It's mid. It's not bad. It's something you can make at home. If you don't want to cook and you want to hot dog, <laughs> That was Vinny's it. Pizza not, and Glizzy. You're going to make yourself a, you know, a big savings for the same thing. It's flavors. an Italian dude this making Glizzy. It's actually pretty damn good. Juicy dog. Grilled flavors, juicy dog, chili with the melted cheese. I'm actually gonna give the chili cheese dog dog a. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I actually think it's that good. <laughs> Only thing, obviously, if it had like something to keep oh, it, he rates it like he's Gordon like Ramsay on it or something. Like he's a reporter of the week. Let's see what that guy's been up to. Uh, let's see uh, report of the week. This dude's still doing stuff? He, he must be. Oh yeah, Papa John's new Doritos Cool Ranch Papadilla review. I think he hates... Oh yeah, Pizza Hut really got it wrong. Oh no, his day is ruined again. Hello everyone. This it's is Running on Empty, empty food, food Reviews. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running on Empty. Now, this is somebody who actually cares about his content. He makes up his hair, he wears a suit. Like, the, the dude is impeccably presented. Serious? I'm your host. And he's a one-man show. He doesn't have a team of people doing that shit. The report of the week? Thanks for checking in. Well, finally. I don't know why he's called the report of the week, like though. Review Bra is much better. Of one item that was just being resurrected and re released after the next, after the next, after the next. Let's see finally. the hot spots, the most replayed. People love this part. Is, if it adds or detracts to it. <laughs> it's well nourished. I would say he's properly nourished, seeing how his, his whole thing is just eating food and reviewing it. I would say he's 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 properly fed. Okay. Is it tangy? Is it moist? No, hold on. He can't talk with his mouth full. This isn't a fucking DSP tries it. Come on. He needs to actually consume the food first, process it with his uh extremely developed taste buds very nice now we need to take a sip from a chalice it would be much cooler if he was drinking from a chalice that, that's shaped like a this skull items. from the skull of his enemies like joey's food reviews he killed them and he's drinking from his skull <laughs> what happened to joey's food reviews let's let's go to the next dude uh, Joey's World Tour, right? Is this dude still alive? Oh yeah, eight days ago. Crispy and crunchy goodness. Mouth-watering review of crispy, crunchy chicken. Holy fuck. Let's let's see what part of the video people like. Oh, there's no highlights. I, I guess it's it's here when he actually eats the food. So let's skip to the good part, as as DSP would say. Maybe uh, you know, let's see what it tastes like. This is crispy, crunchy chicken. Here we go. This, yeah, this kind of looks like Tipster, but with less chins. Mm. Minus five mm. chins. Mm. Mm. Oh, and he's getting aroused right now. He's getting really in the zone. Damn. 
It's just so moist. Hey, it's moist. Yeah. It's moist. Woo. It's not dried out at all, muchachos and muchachos. Muchachos. He even got a. It's. It, it, he even got a name for his fans, the muchachos and the muchachas. It's not even the hate army or something stupid like that. Ooh, it's got an actual that. name. This is how you do it. Ooh yeah. Let me try one of these. What's that? What's that? Yeah, right off the bat, it's got a beautiful batter on here. And uh, it's really moist. It's not, it's not like the ones you get like at the grocery store. So I've had those. And you buy okay, <laughs> let's see. Uh, let's see his highest viewed video on the channel. I'm, I'm curious. Was it the one? Oh yeah, it's the Nutella one. <laughs> hey, it's Jelly from Jelly's World Tour. Welcome back, guys. I already Today know what's coming, the dude. Nutella <laughs> challenge. The Nutella challenge. That's right. Help. Okay, guys. Are you ready? DSP never had an, a video as entertaining as this. <laughs> But this time, I'm gonna do it hands free. Never. No, hands You're never free. gonna see this on a DSP channel. Never. This is the type of content YouTube was made for. They were spoons. That's like that. I'm gonna use my hands tied up. All right. Here we go, guys. And I think it's like three minutes to eat this. So that's the challenge. The Nutella hands free three minute challenge. Are you ready? All right, guys. Here we go. Whoa. It's hands free. It's Bluetooth. Oh. Let's go. All right, I got it. I got it. People in chat start asking me, have I seen this and that? Maybe we can check it out. I'll check out some of those iconic videos. One, two, three. Go. See how this shit is actually done. So let's let's dive right into it with Joey's World Tour. Let's go. Baller alert. And we already failed the challenge. It's thick. It's thick. <laughs> Let's put this on like super speed. We're done. <laughs> what was it? Uh, raw, raw chorizo? Was it raw chorizo? Challenge. Let's see who does that. Joey, of course he did. Of course he did it. And he ate green wasabi. I wanna, I wanna see that one first. Let's, let's tease it a little bit. Hey everyone, it's Joe for Joey's Real Tour. That's green wasabi, green wasabi challenge. That's green horse. Okay. Okay. So this, this gets bad. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Okay. It's going in somewhere around here. Here we go, guys. This here is we go, guys. The green. The green. green wasabi challenge. The green wasabi challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way he ingested it, it's, it's amazing. And now he realized it was a mistake. <laughs> oh, what? Right. This is what happens when you eat DSP's authentic Italian sauce. Just imagine it's the Italian oh. sauce. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some water. Give me some water. Give me some water. Give me some water. Get him. Give him some water, right? And of course, the sprinklers were on for a reason. It's like Chekhov, uh, Chekhov's gun. You know, if... Y you I know, mean, I mean, you know, you see the sprinklers in the background in the beginning, you know what's gonna happen. They set it up for a reason. This foreshadowing. <laughs> oh man, I forgot this, this time in YouTube content when people would just do stupid shit and then instantly regret it and then just post it on the internet. It's a style of content, it's almost a genre. <laughs> And big ups for all the renewed memberships at 2 a.m. That's that's when it usually happens. Uh, 
Ah, uh, it's so robust. This is what meaningful content looks like. Oh, uh, let's see the chorizo challenge. Hey everyone, it's Yeah, Joe. this video was like World seven World years World. old or something. Yeah, seven years. Uh, I want to thank you all for uh, tuning in. And, and there's uh, also a re my videos. <laughs> there's a reverse, a reverse of the chorizo challenge. But I want to see the raw thing first. It's like watching Memento. You watch the 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 normal cut and then you watch the chronological cut. That's how it works. And uh, please subscribe. Except this kind of different. Anyway, it's nothing like it. that. Uh, here's another food challenge. This is going to be the raw pork chorizo food challenge. Okay. And um, so I should probably put up some kind of a disclaimer on this video, some kind of and, a uh, warning. So let's give. But it's too late for that at anyways, this point. It's two a.m. Uh, don't watch chorizo, this. If you nice big stick of it, don't want sausage. Watch. And I'm gonna clip clip the uh, top off. Okay. Let's get the. Not even a minute in, it's already disgusting. Okay, here's when he do. Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I can taste the, the spices in this. You can take. You can taste the spices, you guys. Okay, if this has like vomiting and shit, yeah, we're not. We're not watching this. No, 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 no. This, this, this shit is fucking nasty. Let's watch the reverse instead, cause it's more positive. Hey, <laughs> hey everyone, it's Joe from Joey's World Tour. Uh, here's another food challenge. This is going to be. This is the new. Okay, this is the new gimmick for the channel. And whenever I feel like making a late stream, this is what it's going to be like. Just the gross out. Try not to to. Vomit challenge. Raw pork chorizo. <laughs> I just want to catch the part when the, the food goes back into his mouth. I, I, that's, that's all I need and we're, we're just leaving. Then we're gonna watch some shoe nice. you you guys are gonna love shoe nice. Shoe nice is very nice. Okay, that's that's enough. Uh, let's upgrade. Uh, shoe nice. Now the the shoe nice gimmick was that he became kind of big from eating like actual garbage, actual garbage in whatever he would eat like deodorant, like stick deodorant. He would eat a shoe apparently two years ago. Uh, but he was like some kind of a extreme alcoholic, so he would just beg for people to send him money, and he would do whatever. He would just putting himself out there. Epic sausage salami. But this dude, he can literally consume anything, anything. Hey everyone, shoe nice again. Well, basically, I discovered that Frida's Carolina Reaper peppers. Let's get to the good part, as Phil would say. <sighs> We inspected that dude, Ted Barris. He knows what they look like. I can't bake this one, huh, bro? Oh. Can't drink anything yet. What are you doing, dude? I'm already, I'm already reaching for something. I'm already reaching for something. You know what I mean? I'm already... Because, um... G Gilly land for the sub, dude. Come on, dude. I'm just holding it away. This is not even one of the gross things. It's just him eating it. And he's he's not even having that bad of a time compared to some of the things he's eaten. The Carolina ghost pepper is intended to be actually consumed. Unlike most things he eats. I think we did the big one. I think we did the big one. I'm gonna do the big one. You wanna do the big one? Let's do the big one. Let's 
Ta da! 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 Okay, so that, that that went pretty much okay. Let's see his latest, because he was uh, having an MRI. And then three weeks ago, he was eating a mouthful of mayo. And then he was having a bar fight in The Sims. Is this in The Sims? Yeah, this is literally yeah, him in The Sims. Um, And Shunice22 says, thank y'all. But I think he got a lot of his uh, videos got deleted or his channel or something. It's It's really weird, man. Like, he's been... He's been around since like 2008 or something. Uh, whipped topping, catfish stink bait. It's not even like supposed to be eaten. And then we have a raw steak where he just. Hey everyone. He has like his his whole hair is made out of sharpie you nice again well basically i swallowed my pride and i realized at 50 that some men do lose their hair so i went to a, a hairy place and then he just eats raw steak the kind of shit he does uh and he eats a shoe let's see this is does he actually eat it you just now that just for no, nah, that's just clickbait. He's faking. Either way, I did that just for the thumbnail. <laughs> this is the kind of he got shoe tricked. that I eat. And he's going to eat a shoe that is on a piece of toilet paper. So he's going to still eat toilet paper. Nice. Either way, you just got rickrolled. You just got Rickrolled. A YouTuber with a 51 and then he flexes on you. Like a 22 year old basketball player. <laughs> you just got Rickrolled, you guys. I hope you feel good about it. Uh, what is this? Swallowing 23 hot dogs. No, we're not going to watch that. Oh, yo. How could I forget? How could I forget Big Nick? Nick Okado Avocado, the goat. We're here talking about fucking mukbangs and eating stuff, and we're not even watching Nikocado. What are we even doing? What is this kind of a stream that's about consuming food if we're not watching this dude? God damn it. He's like the best type of a troll where he, he knows he's trolling and people are watching him because he's trolling, but he's also actually killing himself in the process. So it's like, it's the method acting of trolling. Gosh, he's really nice. dedicated to that character. And are you sure you're not doing ad cams? Yeah, I, I know about his OnlyFans and stuff. There's people uh, people randomly posting his, his asshole in the Twitter replies. Like you want to ratio somebody, just like find find a comment you disagree with and just you, you post Nikocado's asshole. At 71 from a heart attack doesn't mean that I will too. I think he lived to 89 though. No, he didn't. He lived to 71. It's like this is this is why I like um uh this is why I like humanity. Because sometimes you have the freedom to do this to yourself and nobody's gonna stop you and nobody has the right to stop you. If you decide to do this to yourself for profit or views or attention or for no reason other than you just decide to do this for yourself, you can. That's why I like this. Honestly, And you can post it on the internet so people can enjoy it. I'm not sure if I'm enjoying it, but it, it, it is something. Let's get to the good part. It just pinched. My heart went bumpity bump. And then I felt pain on this spot. Ooh. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try my first time for you right now. Okay. Here we go. Let's open up one. Okay. And he has the, the, muck, the mukbang tray. Signature. 
He should start selling like mukbang trays so with uh, with his time, logo on them. Time. Okay. Takis. That all we're having? It looks like carrots. just takis. Ah! And now you're just trolling. Uh, I guess this is the good part. Stop acting like you're the king of eating food. I am. I'm the king of eating food. You're not. You're the Skinny king of little... wearing food. Uh oh. Abusive mode? Let's go. Slap him. You're gonna insult me in front of people? We're recording! Yeah, but it's all like, yeah, it's it's a gimmick. It's it's not it's not entirely entertaining because you know that most of this shit is fake. Stop it! Like they know they know this shit is fake. I have to eat to survive. You could probably not eat for forty days and be just fine. Stop! Shut! Ah! That's what you get. But I gotta admit it. Like he's probably like the goat at eating food. Like he really is. That's his whole brand is just devouring food and killing himself slowly, and he's not even trying to hide it. He is the greatest. Ouch! I can't think of anybody Let else who, who this is his whole alone. thing. He's just devouring, consuming. Ouch! Ouch! And now Stop. they're just fighting with Ow. with a with a croc. They're fighting with crocs. How is this not content? Oh yeah, we can Stop check it. out some foodie beauty. But let's see one of the mo more the the disgusting Nikocado ones. Uh, the Takis Zombie Fire Noodles. Let's actually dive into the most popular. Because we're here for that cloud. We're here for that content. And oh my god. What is this? Hi little sloths. Oh Welcome god to damn. Age. Oh my god. This was five years ago. Look at look at him. Five years ago. Challenge. Look who it is. It's Candy again. AK Hunt. And Candy. On YouTube. Named after a favorite snack. Hey, and this is her first God time. damn. Doing the Korean fire noodle challenge. Wow. And Korean this is my fire second noodle challenge. I was like, I need a friend to hold my hand. <laughs> oh my God. Ah, uh, this is not even like a mukbang because they just eat a plate of each. So we're just kind of people bit. casually eating food challenge. She's already going. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna beat me. This is not fair. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, his smile and optimism gone. He got evaporated. Oh my you god. See when he was a health food YouTuber, he was way skinnier. Yeah, yeah, he used to be a, a vegan, actually. And he could play the violin, he was a totally normal, well-adjusted human. And then this happened. This shit oh. happened. This happened. Yeah. It worked! It worked! Well, let's actually find out. I'm already sweating, because I'm a little nervous, but... I think but it it's his choice, it so uh, yay for freedom. He can do this to himself, and that's uh, perfectly okay. So... Now we got Foodie Beauty. Man, we're going to, to all the... We're covering all our bases today. Let's do a Foodie Beauty mukbang. Let's see about her. Because all I know about her is that she just lies about stuff. And she's pretty toxic and manipulative and bad at it. So let's see that. From addict to Muslim. Indian food mukbang whole tandoori chicken and paneer butter masala. I think that's what I'm gonna click on. And she's like, um, she's Muslim, but she converted to Muslim. She used to be Christian, I guess. <laughs> this, I mean, it's, it's not much of a mukbang. Unless she's gonna eat all that rice. She's not gonna eat all that rice. This is great content to stop you midnight snacking. <laughs> this is great content to, to turn you vegan, probably. We're doing a vegan conversion therapy. Okay, rice, correct. And well, uh, feasting with the king could never be this because DSP is in denial about actually liking to just devour and consume food, and he's also too cheap to order a bunch of food like that. Uh, because uh, Omega Kirk and Regal the Seventh for the Tastes super like chat. You ever eat those munchos? Uh, 
Okay. At least this is edited. I don't know why people would watch this. I guess it's something you watch while you're also eating, so you can feel like you got company with eating. And maybe if you're eating something so... that is not as interesting as what she's eating, then it makes it kind of something. I, I don't fucking know, man. I don't know. It is weird. You can just watch Feasting with a King when you're eating. And then uh, lose appetite real quick. <clears throat> okay, I mean, just, just boring. Does she talk about something? Just eating? I just found that very... When I was comparing... I hey, shout out to Pepsi. Actually, but... Does Wings have a mukbang? I don't think Wings has a mukbang. I just He should, though. He would so unironically happy. make like a hundred thousand views just uh, having a Wendy's chili mukbang with Pepsi. Obviously, it's not good for him, but a lot of things now. he gets to decide if it's good for him or not. She looks like uh, Uncle Fester. She got that very specific face. Experiencing a very different... For those of you who don't know, Uncle Fester is from the Adams family, and he looks like this. <laughs> Kind of like this, okay. Culture. Okay, this is just a, a boring person eating food. And uh, I guess it's content. So anything is content. That's the cool thing about YouTube. I guess we are back on review, bruh. Someone who is actually not morbidly obese. So what is he gonna say? I like it and I don't hate it. Alright, that's, that's really all that I could say about it. And that's the thing. Sometimes you get these sorts of items. The way that... Well, from at least my experience, anyway, fast food is. Was Uncle Fester played it's by a, Christopher it's a very broad Lloyd? Spectrum in that. Oh. It's not like everything is absolutely. That's very interesting. Good or it's. Anyways, let's go back to DSP and wrap it up in like 10, 15 minutes. Like bacon crumbles in there, or maybe you know what I really like on a chili cheese dog sometimes fried onions. Mmm, that would be a good thing to put on there. Then it would have been like a five out of five. Whoa, this but, dude's content is so good, is, dude. He edits uh, uh, music more, right? onto his mukbangs, this, even though it's not a mukbang. Well, so let's watch really a feasting with the king. Yeah, I think that's really a very poetic way to chili. end this. You know, feasting else, with uh, the king. Like this is a bit more expensive than two thirty. So I actually like the price. And of course, like the thumbnails for this are great. And the, the everything is great. I mean, the background, the mustiness. Because like all the videos that we watched so far, they they have like a good camera. They kind of look decent, at least. Well, this dude, it looks like you're eating at a trap house. You're eating at a crack den. Uh, Vietnamese American barbecue, famous Dave's, great stuff. One year anniversary special, Indian food. It was nine months ago. Oh, what is Badlands Chugs? Okay, let's let's watch this one because I'm, I'm. It sounds familiar. Badlands Chugs. Uh oh, it's this dude. Yeah, he actually chugs. He's really good at chugging. He just inhales liquid. Inhales it, and he's dread. Oh yeah, the the big smoke drive through. Yeah, this dude, and he actually looks like a chill dude. He's dressed up as Snoop Dogg, uh, Snoop Dogg, Big Smoke, and um, he got a timer, he actually got the Big Smoke order. This guy is probably the best. God damn, that's why he's the GOAT. The GOAT! <sighs> Woo! That was a tough one. All right, this is like the the only dude who kind of I I like outside of uh, report of the week, but from today's um, dumpster diving, you can say like that mukbang diving. This is the only dude who's kind of seems wholesome and positive and cool, and here he's drinking a whole lot of Mountain Dew in a massive wine glass. Get this be out of here! Get out of here! Boo! Shoot. And it's actually edited Shoot. in a way that it's interesting to watch. Shoot! Because it's just a five minute video, it's not a 20 minute video of a dude drinking. I'm drinking. So, yes, for sure. every Mountain Dew. The time has come. Enough talk. It's time to get this done.
Okay. Just watch him. Just watch. Yes. Three, two, one. He inhales this shit. God damn. Does he even stop to like take a breath? No. Just keep going. That's Chuck, folks. So next time, keep watching Badlands, Chuck. God damn. I'm out. He's not gonna have to drink any liquids for like the next two weeks. Who was else? Uh, someone, Jimmy, something, something, something. Jimmy Lord CP. Jimmy Lord CP. Uh, Lord CP. I don't know what that is. Is some dude obviously, but I don't know which video to watch. Uh. I don't know, it's some some random like niche dudes. Jimmy Keep becoming Cyrax. Name. I don't know what you did, you're fucking insane. Oh damn drops. Let's let's check this. Uh damn drops. I spelled it wrong. Uh oh yeah, this dude. I know this dude, but I think he's kinda boring. I think he's kinda boring. Uh, he might have been not that boring. Eating at the worst reviewed pizza restaurant in New York. Mind blown. Five guys, burgers, and fries. Somehow this has 11 million views. What has happened my in this goodness. video? Oh my damn. Oh. I want to say this is an official cheeseburger. Hold on. I can't. Mm. I had to peel that open real slow because the cheese is going, going ham up in here. Do you see the cheese is still attached to the foil? As I'm not sure, man. This is 360p. Oozing out my burger. <laughs> oh. Listen, you too. This is the burger. I want to get right into it. Man. I want to tell you how official. So, look, this is what I want from my car reviewing food enthusiasts. I want this kind of passion. I want you to make out with the burger. Kiss the burger. Love the burger. Hug it. Then consume it. Transfer the life energy of the burger into yourself. That's what I want. Burgers and fries. That's meaningful content to me. When I went me. to my man that was behind the counter, my man was like, hello, sir. How can I help you today? You know what? That's customer service. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? That's what I'm talking about. Isn't that you what know, all of them say? Blair? Give me a double cheeseburger and some of them fries. And I need something <laughs> to wash that down with, B. Okay, I take that back. He's not something. boring. This burger is fun as hell. This is a real burger. This burger is super. This visible. is a real burger. Below it, you see the bacon. I didn't even ask for bacon, but I was thinking bacon. In the back of my mind, when he said, Do you want anything else on your cheeseburger, your double cheeseburger player? I was thinking, Oh, damn. Wait, I, I know Should I've I heard the remix. This is the one, uh, oh my goodness, oh my damn. You going ham. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going ham. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. Oh my goodness. They're going ham. This is how bacon is supposed to be. And of course, this is from uh, Shmoyoho. They used to remix literally everything back in the day. They did the the Hydro Kids, Hydro Wives one. That yeah, the Bed Intruder song. This when when Ray William Johnson was a thing back like apparently 12 years ago. This was like the biggest fucking thing. It was blowing up. Well, obviously we have a rapist in Lincoln Park. Lincoln he's Park. climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. Trying to rape them. So y'all need to hide your kids. Hide, hide your wife. Hide, hide your kids. Hide your wife. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. It's a blast from the past. And the thing with the with this guy is he became kind of of course virally popular back in the day, and then it kind of just like fizzled out. Cause I mean that that's what he was known for this this thing. So yeah, it's kind of like uh, the prototype for all these uh, TikTok viral people that have a five-second TikTok blow up, and then they're like, "Dude, I I need to 
I need to take advantage of this, but they don't know what to do. So they just kind of repeat the same thing over and over again. Uh, what else we got on this channel? Man, we got a double rainbow song. This was from 12 years ago as well. And then we got the corn song from eight months ago. Speaking of TikTok, this was a, a TikTok thing. Oh, the ain't nobody got time for that. Is it on this one? Yeah, this is the one. Ain't nobody got time for it. Ain't nobody got time for that. It's on fire, fire. The building is on fire, fire. I want to laugh. What? I got my three kids and we bounce. Ow, ow, ow. I said, hey, hey. We ain't gonna be in no fire. Not the day. Oh yeah, that, that, that wasn't the... Nah, ain't nobody got time for that. But it's a, it's a similar one. Yeah, she has the fucking Eminem shirt, dude. Like actual Eminems, not, not even the rapper. Where's the ain't nobody got time for that? I, I I thought it would be here somewhere. There was the the Charlie Sheen winning song. Oh my god, this is this making me feel so old right now. I'm not even that old. I'm not even old. Ah, oh, this is now a depression stream. Let's feel bad about time passing and um existence. Tornado song? Look at that tree. No, I don't know this. Then we have Obama. We have Trump. What's their most recent video? What happened to this channel? What are they posting now? One month ago. AI Obama and AI Biden. Boys a liar part two. Old Spice, Sleepy Joe on the mic. They know the clock stops for Joe and Barack. We about to be cooking. You get the pan, I get the crock pot. Take a look inside your heart. Is there any room for me? I won't have to hold my breath till you get down on one knee because you only want to hold me when I'm looking good enough. Come on, man. Did you ever feel me? Would you ever picture us? Every time I pull my hair, well, it's only out of fear that you'll find me ugly and one day you'll disappear because what's the point of crying? It was never even love. Yeah, man. Did you ever want me? Was I ever good enough? Crap. Yeah. Uh, the, the boy's a lie. I All right, nice. I'm not 22. What makes you think I'm 22? Hmm. I'm just uh, youthful. I'm still much younger than ALT though. He's old. Speaking of ALT, he's about to go live in two minutes from now. So I'm going to transfer you there. Let's just try and find the Ain't Nobody Got Time For That remix. Because that's, that's the one I wanted to find. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Sweet Brown. Autotune remix. Oh, so this wasn't even their their thing. I think uh, yeah, it should be this one. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. Yeah, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, that's 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 basically it. <laughs> that's it. Um, yeah, th these are fun as hell, man. This is um, it's a blast from a from a bygone era of the internet when it was all innocent 
and it was all organic and somebody would say something stupid on tv or on some kind of a camera and then it would go naturally viral and nowadays we got the island boys obviously if you don't know the island boys they're kind of a an old story this like this shit is like from i don't fucking know like a year ago but that's that's what we got now because i'm an island boy and i've been this is what we got now play. Oh, I'm an island boy. I, I'm a just island boy. I'm a just island boy. <laughs> this is the whole thing, bro. And this got like super famous to the point where they, they had an actual, actual like professionally produced song and video. And their names are Kodiak, Kodiak Red and Fly Soldier. Obviously, and one of them has a song. The best thing to come out of them is the song called I Put My Vest On, which is, I, I do enjoy that song quite a bit. Uh, but I don't know if I can find it. Is um, actually trying to try and find it. Boys, uh, put my vest on. Can I even find it here? Because it's like, it's one of those... Uh, I put my vest on like, yeah. What? No, we can't find it. I can't, I can't even find it. So it's it's kind of a non-song. But I know that uh, Brad Taste and Music has reacted to it. So I know it actually exists. But yeah, that's, that's what we got nowadays. All you got to do is put a bunch of face tattoos on your face and go on TikTok and say some dumb shit and you're going to get views at some point. And people are going to be thinking, is this satire? Is this real? Whoa. Let's just keep watching. Oh, you're going broke, sir. Save that money. Man, I'm driving a hundred thousand dollar truck. I got over two hundred thousand dollars in jewelry. I got a thirty-six hundred dollar uh, LV bag and stuff like that. Come on, my fit. You know, it's fine. Look at the drip check and stuff like that. Yeah, bro. Look at a drip check and stuff like that. Did they go broke? Um, pretty certain. Yeah. I mean, kind of. Uh, very, very possible. Let's look up vest. Come on, dude. There needs to be the vest song. Where's the vest song? And I put my vest on. Uh, Island Boys. The whole story. The whole story is apparently an hour long. So if you care enough, you can click on this video. But don't don't care enough. It's literally nothing to care enough for. Literally. It's literally the Island Boys. Nobody even cares about that shit. So, um... This is it. Yeah, go watch uh, WPIG. This stream is now over. Thanks, everybody, for watching. See you next time. Hopefully not on one of those late streams because that's going to destroy my, my mental. You know what I mean? So, uh, Baller Alert. Baller Alert. Calling out Baller Alert. Got no problems with Baller Alert. But everybody on Baller Alert and anybody else out there talking shit about me, here we go.